greetings, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our location is 2431 through 49 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. Señoras y señores, saludos, saludos a todos nuestros audiencia de habla hispana, de la radio y de la televisión en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el Pastor Gino Jennings. I'm going to ask you to bow at this time as we're led in prayer by Minister David Harrison of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Eternal Father, everlasting now God, we give you thanks, O oh God, for this another opportunity to be in your midst, Lord God, as we gather together. O oh God, in this fashion, Lord God, to magnify and glorify your name. You alone is worthy, Lord God. Father, as we come, we look to you. Lord God, nothing can we do of ourselves, Lord God. We are nothing without you, Lord Jesus. Father, we just can't make this journey on our home. Father, we give you thanks this morning. Father, look upon the backslider this morning. Father, we thank you for bringing us out of darkness into this marvelous light of salvation. Oh God, we thank you for this truth, Lord God, that we have become into the knowledge of. Thank you, Lord God, for our leader. Father, continue to bless him. Oh God, keep him. Lord God, increase his knowledge, Lord God, as he continues to feed us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we need to hear from you this morning. Father, give us the victory this morning, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us individually, Lord God, and collectively. Guide us, Lord God. Protect us. Go before us in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Grant us a victory. Oh God, Lord God, in your name there is victory. Father, we give you thanks this morning. Lord God, mend us where we are torn, Lord God. Strengthen us where we are weak, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We need to hear from you, Lord God. Send a new message. Hallelujah. That's going to touch us, Lord God. Amen, Lord God. Thank you for this telecast, oh God, that's reaching millions around the world. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hear our prayer this morning. Let the words of my meditation and the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Go before us, Lord Jesus. Lead the way. Let thy will be done. These are the mercies we do ask in Jesus' name. those who join us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. We're pre-recorded to coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 through 49 no, Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. Better correct Pastor that name. Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. Better correct that um, name. We're just, we're just, we're just like to remind you again, you're listening to and watching uh, our 27th International Holy Convocation. Mm. It's also our 31st pastoral anniversary. Just want to make a very quick connect correction. Uh, the name of our church is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the it. First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's enough. We'd just like to go over a few quick preliminaries. We want to remind you that our website is www.truthofgod.com. Go there and visit us. Uh, I'd also like to remind you of our email address for the, for the benefit of our radio listeners. Our email address is uh, truthofgod at errols.com. Truthofgodarrows.com. We'd also like to remind you of our, uh, our telephone number. You can call us if you desire to leave us a short message or if you have questions or concerns about our telecast. And that number is one 231 201 Once again, one 231 201 We're going to go directly to our pastor now, our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jackson. If you live right, heaven belongs. If you live right, heaven. If you live right, heaven. If you live right, heaven. If you live right. If you live right, heaven. If you pray right, heaven. If 
He's infallible and he's absolute. He never deviate from his message. And whenever God sends men, they're not supposed to deviate from the message. One scripture talks about faith, you know, and most people when they talk about faith, it's always from the perspective of believing in God and what he can do for them. Yeah. But uh, I love to look at faith, faith broader than that. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have a God that can do anything mm -hmm. and everything, don't we? Yeah. But... Uh, that faith is not good enough. Not good enough. Do you believe 
what God believe. Do you believe the things that God believe? He's more than a healer. Is he not more than a provider? There's a lot of people that believe God for healing and supplying their every need. Amen. But what they believe when it comes to religion yes. is not what God believes. Yeah. Not only do I trust in God, but I believe in the things that he believes. Everything that God believes, I believe it. That's it. Therefore, That's have it. I spoken. That's it. So believing in God to provide you with a job, a wife, a husband, a car, a few dollars, oh, that's not, enough. that's not enough. You have to believe everything that God believed. He made his beliefs clear by giving it to the prophets and giving it to the apostles, left it on record for us, so we can have the same faith, believe the same thing. Amen. Until the Apostle Paul taught us by God's permission that we all should speak the same thing. Didn't they say so? Beautiful to see all these brothers and sisters jammed in here. Wish up in God in spirit and in truth. We're glad for our newest, one of our newest minister, Minister Dave Harrison from Bridgeport, Connecticut. We thank God for him. Amen. You know, brothers and sisters, as he and I was talking before I came out, he said, I find it amazing that this hard preaching, but yet so many hundreds are gravitating to it. I find that conversation I'm having with quite a bit of people. Oh, yeah. It's shocking to people yeah. to see you gravitating to something so tough. Yeah. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends, and my loyal watching enemies. Hallelujah. One scripture says, study the ant. Study. That lets you know there's some intelligence that God has put in every creeping thing. Mm -hmm. Let me encourage you, study the snake. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Amen. What do I learn from a snake? Glory to God. Every time of year, each creature that God made have a particular time of doing something. Mm -hmm. Wildebeest in Africa migrate. They take the same trail mm -hmm. every single year until the alligators and the crocodile, they know what time it is. That's it. That's it, they know God is about to provide us something. That's right. Amen. So they all group together, waiting, <laughs> glory to God, waiting for the supply to be given to them. Right. Even when there's a drought in the earth, some animals follow elephants. Because of the sensitivity of the trunk of the elephant, he will tap the ground, looking for water. And by the moisture of the earth, he'll start moving his big feet, yeah. the dirt back. Yeah. And then start thrusting his trunk into the hole because his God-given sense is telling him that there's some water there. Mm -hmm. Why do I suggest to study the snake? The snake every time of year Shed off the old skin. That's right. He get rid of the old man. 
but to remove his skin mm -hmm. he never rub up against things that are soft oh. are you listening to what i'm telling you he know it takes something tough rough because his old skin is stubborn yeah. and it clings to him so he may rub up against a stone or tree bark and he and he rub from head to tail that's right he's moving around casting off <laughs> the old skin that he may be complete We have a heavy gospel here. Oh, yeah. Within it lies the words of the stone, stone. that the builders refused. Oh, yes. He become the head of the corner. And his advice was, fall on the stone and you shall be broken. Mm -hmm. But if the stone fall on you, well, let's go and grind it to powder. Amen. In order to rid ourselves from the power of Satan, we got to be involved in something rough. That's right. You know, you take some people, they wash, those that do. <laughs> they use a cloth. Yeah. Then you have those that do what I call commercialized washing. You know, they just take a bar of soap and rub it on them. <laughs> and they really believe it's doing something. It's just giving you a scent, but otherwise than that, it ain't doing no damage. No. But then there's a cloth that's rough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the objective is move the dead skin. That's it. Sin is like dead skin. Oh, yeah. That's right. And it takes a sound gospel to combat the wickedness that is in us. Right. Brothers and sisters, you that are watching, you will never get sin off you with that watered down stuff that you have. No, no. Never, never. In fact, when I was a child, my mother would put me in the tub, I'll play in the water. <laughs> if you got children, I ain't play in the water. Right. Sometimes the mother would let the child, you know, play in the water, splash around and before she start removing the dirt off of it. That's right. And that's what the world have done now. Mm -hmm. They are playing in church, splashing around, and amen, little rubber ducky preaches. And Go ahead. Glory to God. Little deacons squeaking here and there, having a big time. That's right. But the end of all things are at hand. Amen. Do you not see, brothers and sisters, we are facing the end of everything? Oh, yes. And I do mean everything. God is demonstrating now patience. That's what everybody is experiencing now. Yes, sir. The patience of God. Amen. When a woman is pregnant, she be glad when that child come out. Some women be in labor long, some for hours, some for a few days. But regardless, deliverance come when they drop the load. Oh yeah. The Lord God himself compared a woman in child labor to his anger. That's right. God said himself, I am ready to cry like a woman in travail that lets you know the pain that god is feeling as a result of the human family you're hurting him but you bear in mind that hurt will not go unanswered that's right yeah that's right all the pain all the affliction that the governments of the earth are putting on him, mm. that the policy makers mm -hmm. are putting on him, that the religions of men are putting on him, mm. that will not go unanswered. Oh, yeah. 
There's one gentleman that constantly writes me, he said, where is it in the Bible that God made hell to get even with man? Mm. The Bible don't say it in those words. No. That he made hell to get even with man, but he didn't make hell for the wicked. That's right. And uh, what brought hell into being was the conduct of the human family. Mm -hmm. They made God jealous. Jealousy. And they triggered an emotion in God. That's right. Let me read this and then we're going to dive into some mail. Mm -hmm. Listen. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 31. What is it? Verse 21. All right. Give chapter and verse again. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 21. All right. They have moved me to jealousy. God talking. Better begin at the verse, verse up above that. Verse 20. All right. And he said, I will hide my face from them. You better begin at the verse above that. At verse 19. And when the Lord saw it. That's what I want. Amen. I want people to know that Moses didn't say this. Yeah. What saith it? And when the Lord saw it. When the Lord saw it. He abhorred them. He abhorred them. Because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. Now, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. I rather had the United States of America angry with me than God. God. Yes. I rather have every human in the world right. mad, upset, picketing in the streets. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to put that in no mind. I can close my door and go to bed and leave you outside hollering. That's right. But God Almighty can invade my dream. That's right. Or strip me from sleeping. Right. Amen. That's true. That's true. I never want to fall in the hands of an angry God. No. And I want to show you because hmm. hell did not come about for nothing. That's right. It was a reason, was a reason. that it arrived. That's right. And it was because of the human family. Listen at this. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. Yes. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. Amen. God is looking all the way down at eternity. That's right. Why? Because he had something at the end. That's right. Reserved for the present. I will you see, see human mm -hmm. family, you're mm -hmm. just looking at the present. Yeah. Right. And you're looking at your wickedness, how much money you can make, the kind of cars you can drive, how big of a house you want. You have become a generation of materialistic lovers. That's right. And church filled with materialistic preachers. Mm -hmm. Don't misunderstand me. You got to have a house. There's nothing wrong with having a house or a car. But when materialism outweighs God, mm -hmm. it becomes your God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What did he say here? I will see what their end shall be. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation. Very forward. And that was back then. Back then. They haven't changed. Mm -mm. The forwardness just got worse. That's right. Bible says the evil men that subduces shall wax what? Worse, worse and worse. And worse. Mm -hmm. Some people tell me they're praying that the world get better. You better off praying for something else. That's right. No need to waste your time praying for that because it's not God will for that to be. That's right. The world is getting worse and worse because they fulfill prophecy. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to get no better. No. The word of God plainly states that evil men and seducers. And seducers. What mm -hmm. do you mean? Evil men and tricksters. That's it. That's it. That's it. Tricksters. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a language. When one seduces you, they are a trickster. That's right. Evil men and con men. Con men. A seducer is one that trick, con, manipulate. That's right. The word of God said they shall get worse and worse, and worse. deceiving. And then somebody going to trick them because they're going to be deceived too. That's right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Come on, son. Well, they are a very forward generation. They are a very forward generation. You can see it. Very, very forward. All on televisions. They want to advertise their body and mm. shaking and dancing. And the more naked you are, the more happier they Amen. are. Amen. Until the so-called Christian community have imitated the same trash. That's right. 
Same thing. Right. You know, when I came up, my mother and father used to tell me that the church is a light to the world. Mm -hmm. Well, now the world is a light to what is called church. Amen. Right. Everything the world wants to do, love to do, trying to do, the church wants to mimic it. That's right. Why? Because they're resorting to anything to get members. Amen. You bear this one thing in mind. The only thing that we are resorting to is Hallelujah. preaching the gospel. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Jesus plainly said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. That's, right. That's it. When you do it the right way, then God will be on your side. Amen. Real quick. They are very forward generations. And children in whom is no faith. Mm. Right. Amen. Children in whom, in whom is no faith. No faith? No faith. No belief. Amen. Don't believe God about nothing. That's right. Do you really believe that men would be so foolish, <laughs> so wild, and blaspheme God with such joy yeah. if they believe that hell really exists right. or hell was made for them? That's right. Uh, if the world respect God for who he is yeah. and what he is. Yeah. Did you just hear what I said? Amen. Respect God for who he is and what he is. Now, if I had a water gun and then I had a German Luger, the real thing, which one are you going to respect? The water gun or the German Luger? I can put a water gun on you and say, stick him up. Yeah. But, and you may hold your hands up, but when you find out it's not real, you're going to be like, and then you're going to use something real. That's right. The devil have sent preachers, messengers to cover the pulpits of America. Let us get something clear, brothers and sisters. The objective of Satan is to pull us in hell with him. That's right. Are we clear? That's it. Amen. So if Satan's objective is to pull you in hell with him because he cannot be saved. Right. Oh, he, he done lost all his chances. That's it. That's it. So if a per person is sentenced mm -hmm. for eternal destruction, then they are relentless. That's right. They are consistent yes. to destroy anything and everything because they see I don't have a chance. That's right. And being that I don't have no chance, I'm going to make sure you don't have one. That's Amen. Right. That's it, sir. That's it. He don't want to be lost by himself. No. He wants some company. That's right. So what did the devil do? He went in preaching making business yes. to duplicate or should I say to imitate the church that's right God got apostles devil have them God got prophets devil have them God's preachers preach in the name of Jesus Christ the devil preachers preach in the name of Jesus Christ you know one thing I say about the devil I say about that rascal <laughs> I want to say, why are you talking about the devil? the devil? If you want to know God, you have to learn the devil. That's right. Because in the midst of the teaching of God, you got to learn about Satan. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Within Satan, there's knowledge. Yeah. Let me say it again. That's right. Within Satan, there's knowledge. Mm -hmm. Did not the Lord tell Adam, touch not the tree of the yes. knowledge yes. of good and evil mm -hmm. so within good there's knowledge within evil there's knowledge so if Satan is our enemy and God knows he is oh, yeah. then we should not be ignorant right. of Satan devices right. so I have to learn him that's right the Bible describes him in many ways a serpent he walketh about as a roaring lion. He's transformed into an angel of light. The great red dragon. He don't have those titles for nothing. You better read quick, son, because 
I'm ready to work. For they are a very forward generation. They are a very forward generation. Children in whom is no faith. They don't believe in God. That's, that's, what, that's America. No faith. In God we trust. You're a liar. That's a lie. <laughs> It won't be for long. That'll end up coming off the money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody going to petition it. Oh, yeah. Somebody going to petition it and say you are mixing uh, uh, church with state. Right. They're going to take it off. In yeah. fact, you need to take it off <laughs> because it's a lie. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's true, sir. Take That's it right. off your money. Take it off your penny. Yeah. And take it off every courthouse in America. Mm -hmm. How you going to have in God we trust on one side and a rainbow flag on the other? On the other. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Children in whom is no faith. Children in whom there is no belief. They have moved me to jealousy. Now, the Lord told you how these people were. That's right. And the Lord told you as a result to them, mm -hmm. it moved him. They have moved me to jealousy. Now hold it. If he was moved into a certain area he was not already there they changed his emotion oh, yeah. moved mm. him to jealousy with that which is not God because they brought something that was not God what did they do they have provoked me to anger with their vanity you ever listen you ever provoked your father mm. oh yeah you know when you're hard here you provoke your father I provoked my father many a time mm. Amen. And he let me know that he was provoked and he laid hands on me. <laughs> and he didn't lay hands on me to pray. No. When he laid hands on me, I needed prayer afterward. Amen. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Come on, son. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. Well, wait a minute. God said you've done it to me, so now I'm going to do it to you. That's right. You're going to reap what you sow. God yeah. let you know I'm going to get you back. That's Human right. Human family, that's what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Nobody's getting away with anything. Mm -hmm. God shall get you back. Amen. God going to pay you back. Yes, he will. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything you're doing to him. Yeah. From government down. That's right. There's not a country Amen. or a state or a town or a dictator or a queen or a governor or a president or a preacher. Yeah. Glory to God is going to get away Amen. from what God said. That's right. He's going to get even with you. I will move them to jealousy. Drive around in your Bentley, your Rolls Royce now. Yes. Have a good time. Have your party. Glory to God. But the king is coming. That's Amen. right. Hey! That's right. What did he say? And I will move them to jealousy. I will move them to jealousy. With those which are not with a people. That which is not a people. What do you mean? I'm going to turn you over into those that don't serve me. That's right. Uh -huh. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. And what? For a fire is kindled. Do you hear? Amen. Amen. A fire. Fire is kindled. Has been ignited. In mine anger. That's right. Amen. Because of their rejection of God, mm -hmm. fire is kindled. Kindled in mine anger. And what happened? And shall burn unto the lowest hell. That lets you know right there the fire of hell is the anger of God. That's right. Now think it. When you're in hell, mm. you will be engulfed with God's anger. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. When you're in hell, falling, yes, sir. hollering, Amen. where the word of God declared, mm -hmm. where the worm dieth not. Yeah. And we are the worm. That's right. yeah. And when it said the fire shall never be quenched, that means his anger will never retire. That's Amen. right. Or it take God, his anger will never let up. That's right. He's going to get you back. Amen. He's going to get you back for lying Amen. and saying there's more than one God. That's Amen. right. He's Amen. jealous. Jealous. He's jealous. gonna get you back. That's right. Amen. He's gonna pay you back. That's right. He's gonna pay you back for bowing to everything other than him. Amen. Amen. He's gonna get you back for that. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Whatever God told the human family to do, mm -hmm. and they ignored it. One scripture says they turn unto me the back not and the not the face. That's right. Read quick, son. For a fire is kindled in mine anger. That's why we're preaching so hard, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Glory to God. Not only are we laboring to keep you out of hell, but in doing this, we save ourselves and also them that here. I don't want to go to hell. Hell is not even on my agenda. Amen. Amen. I have a schedule all I have a schedule for the rest of the year, all the way up to December. Yeah. And hell is not on that. Not on that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Glory to God. I say hell is not on that. That's right. Amen. Thank God. You understand. You understand. The word of God says, save who? Yourself. And when the word of God says, save yourself, brother, that means don't put a friend, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, wife, nobody in front of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Nobody. Amen. All right, we thank God again. You know, uh, the word of God is just beautiful. It's wonderful. It's just beautiful. I was talking to some uh, ministers that contacted me who were supposed to have been here during the convention out of Jacksonville, Florida, and one out of Missouri. And the brother out of Jacksonville, you know, he often loves to mock me, you know. <clears throat> he had me on the three-way, and he said to the minister, he said, you know, Pastor Jennings don't believe in studying before you get in the pulpit. <laughs> he said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. He said, that's foolishness. So the minister in Missouri, <laughs> uh, he said, uh, Pastor Jennings, what you going to do with the scripture that says study? To show yourself approved unto God. I said, I believe that. Mm -hmm. I said, I believe that. Believe that. He said, well, why is it you don't study? I said, because God told his apostles, don't premeditate. Not to meditate. I said, that scripture's for you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I said, that scripture's for That's you. Right. That's the answer, sir. That's yeah? the right answer. Right. I said, That's for you. That's the right answer, sir. I said, glory to God, as you take note, when you read that, Paul wasn't talking about himself. No. Paul no. was instructing Timothy. Timothy, that's right. And told him, you study. You study. Why? To show yourself approved. That's, that's right. Unto God a workman. That's right. He said, you mean to tell me you never pray and plan no. and prepare yourself no. before you get up? I said, never. Settle it, therefore, in your heart. He said, I don't believe that. I say, I really don't care if you don't. Right. But I can tell the world the way God deal with me. That's, That's it. Right. And as a result of God dealing with me this way, this is how God wants you to deal with it. Luke 21 and verse 14. He says, settle it, therefore, in your heart. In modern terms, get over it. Right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Get this in your heart. Amen. Not to meditate before. He's talking to his apostles. Don't premeditate. What ye shall answer. Don't preplan. Mm -hmm. Why? God is the best planner. That's Amen. right. God is the best speaker. That's Amen. right. God know what the people need. That's mm -hmm. right. You see, if you plan, you may give people what they want. Right. That's right. But God wants to give the people what they need. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Wonderful. As it stands now, religion is giving you what you want. Right, right. And the ministers of Jesus Christ have to give the people what they need. That's right. right. And what do we need? Truth. truth. And more truth. That's right. And nothing but the truth. That's right. So help me God. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's what we need. That's it. I will give we, you a We mouth. don't need this weak, foolish preaching. No. Touch the neighbor hand. No. Claim your money. No, no. Little blessed bottles of water. No, no, no. Blow on you and you fall out. <laughs> we don't need that trash in here. No, no. The only thing we want blowing is the moving of the Holy Ghost. That's Amen. right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's all. Wonderful, That's it. Wonderful. You get what I'm telling you. That's it. Do you hear what Jesus said? For I will give you a mouth. He's talking to his apostles. The apostles. He said, I give you a mouth. And wisdom. I give it to you. Mm -hmm. Don't you hear what God told Jeremiah? I have put my word in thy mouth. In thy mouth. When I was in Germany two weeks ago, <laughs> the gentleman got up and testified and said, you know, I thought you and Brother Williams, y'all practiced. Mm -hmm. Y'all planned. Yeah, yeah. I told him I got a life. That's right. That's Williams right. got a life. That's right. I got a wife and seven kids, and he got a wife and what? Two kids. Two kids. Hey Amen. I don't have no. I don't even see him until I come to church. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Amen. And that's enough. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? That's right. He got time to sit around and plan. Why? Oh, Who boy. can plan Hallelujah. on what God will say? That's right. Amen. God have the best mind. That's, that's right. right. Amen. Wonderful. Brother.
That's why the preaching of Jake's and all staying in Creflo O'Dollar, it don't move you to don't turn move. away from sin. Oh, no. Right. no. When God sent a man, it is to tell you to come out your sin. That's right. it. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. It hits the sin that you're in. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Where in these other preachers just rub you. Yeah. And your sin just be going. <laughs> you're just purring like a cat. That's right. Thank God this That's stuff right. tear you to pieces. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. What did God say? I will give you a mouth. I I will give you a mouth. And Hallelujah. wisdom. Glory to God. That's what got the Hallelujah. folks coming from around the world. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. They now, they now asking us to come to Australia. Yes, sir. Australia wants to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We got several letters from Australia. That's right. Amen. Viewers out of Japan been logging on. Viewer contact me and said he been logging on for four years. Oh, Lord. Wow. Wonderful. Raise the Buddhist. Thank God, but he got a hold of holiness and said he had never heard nothing like it. My Lord. The Asian man said, I'm addicted to it. I don't care what color you are. Even my enemies are addicted to it because if you wasn't, you wouldn't be there every week and every day to write me to tell me what I said. That's right. You are addicted to it. That's right. And I want to encourage all you devils. <laughs> Keep your addiction going. Keep That's it going. It. That's it. You might as well drink while you can. That's right. Get all you can. That's and it. And can all you can get. All right, we got some letters <laughs> that get out the way. We, uh, like I mentioned last night, this is only the seventh month. And I think it was, was it two that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ last night? Or was it four? There was four? Four. Well, I got to make a correction on that number. From January up to last night. 728 souls Wonderful. went down in water. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Something like that is unheard of today. Wonderful. 728 souls Wonderful. repenting of their sins going down in water Wonderful. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When are you men going to accept the fact <laughs> you just can't stop God? No. Man. You see the mistake you're making, you're looking at Geno Jennings. Right. This, this ain't about Geno Jennings. No. Oh, no. It's all about God here. Yeah. That's right. All God. It's all about God. Right. Now, before I go any further, let me mention a few things so I can update you. Amen. I want to say to all of my viewers that's here in Wilmington, Delaware, and all my visitors that is here today, that services does go on every week here in Wilmington, Delaware, at the uh, DuPont, uh, no, 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 at the services every week. Is that the DuPont Middle School? That's here. That's no, no, yeah, 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 this is, this is the wrong, wrong, this is the wrong information. Uh, is that the Doubletree? What is the address? You that's in Delaware, what is the address where the meeting is held every week, please? Conquer Pike off Rural Route 202 yeah. near the Exit Mall. <laughs> and it's the Double Tree Hotel. So you that's in Wilmington, Delaware, you gave me this, didn't you? Yeah, you gave me the wanted. wrong thing. That's what you wanted here. That's what you wanted here. Now, you know the way them preachers, they slide something wrong to you. <laughs> well, services go on every Sunday. First service at 11.30 and the evening service is what? Five o'clock or four o'clock? At four o'clock, you're always welcome to come. You, might, you don't have no excuse now. Come on out of your churches. Some folks say, well, I don't want to leave my big church and go in a hotel. Listen, it's best you go in a hotel than go to hell. Yeah. That's right. All right. Amen. 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 And let me also say to all of my viewers in Canada, thanks be unto God, uh, we have a new television station sponsored by First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of Canada. We thank God for the saints there in Canada. Amen. Now the telecast come on Saturday morning at 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time and 8 to 9 a.m. Central Time. And another thing that makes this telecast so good in Canada it covers the entire country. Lord. 
Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. It covers the entire country. Right. It covers all of Canada. I, I mean, I already get mail out of Montreal and Quebec and Ontario and so many other parts of Canada I never heard of. People done came out of their churches as a result of watching us on YouTube. Right. People are coming out of their churches and meeting in houses. Amen. And when they have service, they turn the telecast on YouTube. Yeah. Living room full of people, dining room full of people, giving out DVDs. I'm telling you, this thing is spreading. Wonderful. God Wonderful. knows. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. It just continues to spread. Wonderful. Wonderful. It just continues to spread moreover, and it is doing what God wanted to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's doing what God wanted to do. So get me out of it. All I am is a humble servant. That's it. Amen who's determined to do it like God said it. Amen. We refuse to swerve to the left mm -hmm. or to the right. Amen. We are determined to stay on that straight and narrow, that's it. on the pathway of God. That's it. And uh, that's the way God has it. I'm constantly hearing from preachers throughout America. And one thing that's taking place, not only in America, but in foreign countries, the United Pentecostal Church followers are reaching to the first church in so many parts of the world. They came out of the UPC in England. They came out of the UPC in Germany. They came out of the UPC in the Bahamas. Yeah. They came out of the UPC in Jamaica. They came out of the UPC throughout America. Mm -hmm. And they continue to come. Yeah. Amen. Coming out of that teaching where the women can preach. Amen. And you don't have to cover your head. Yeah. And you can get all the wives you want and all the husbands you want. Right. You know, people love that kind of yeah, preaching. That's right. that's right. Because that preaching pleases your flesh. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So it take God, but God Almighty said, my sheep. My sheep. It doesn't matter where you are. No. It doesn't matter what color you are. Oh, no. The Lord God of Israel declared, my sheep will hear my voice. Mm -hmm. And a stranger they won't follow. Amen. So you continue to come out of your churches, regardless of where they are, where you're located. Nice. Amen. I want to say to all of my viewers that watch the program throughout the Bahamas, and you that have relatives or family in the Bahamas, please email us. And uh, so we can give you our church locations. There are four locations now mm. in the Bahama Islands. I know one is in Nassau, one is in Freeport, and I can't think of the name of the other two. Mm. <clears throat> but uh, you contact us so we can direct you to the temples there in the Bahama Islands. I want to greet all of my viewers this morning over CBM in Jamaica. God willing, we're working on now opening up our 12th. Is it our 12th or 13th? Night Nigeria will be the 12th? The 11th? Every time I talk to you, you say it's the 11th. <laughs> Amen. So we're on the 11th location there in Jamaica. That's good, isn't it? Amen. Amen. You know, when we first got started in Jamaica, we, I think we didn't have no more but between eight or ten people. That's true. Now, over a thousand over strong thousand. becoming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Over a thousand strong. Wonderful. Over that. Over that. I was just there in the month of May, and we baptized 44 in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the truth of God message is just that. It is for those that are hungry and thirsty mm -hmm. after righteousness. That's, it. That's what this message is for. That's right. It's for all of them that are black, white, yellow, brown, and red, who really mean what they say, mm -hmm. that they don't want to go to hell. Amen. Amen. It's for them. It's for them. Them that's playing around and want to play hopscotch into the kingdom and all that stuff and think you can just get around and detour and bribe an angel and he can get you into the kingdom and all these shortcuts. Uh, 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 uh. No, it's for them that fear God and really are afraid to go to hell. That's right. Amen. He that feareth God and worketh righteousness, God says, is accepted with him. Now, I want to share with you a letter that we sent to the Supreme Court, each individual judge, mm -hmm. as a result of their wicked decision. Mm. There are some folk feel as though I should not have done that, and I don't care if you do feel that way. No. Some say, well, they wasn't bothering you. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Anytime you're trying to change the commandment of God, Amen. you're bothering all of God's people. Amen. 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 If there's one person that claim they are of God and they're not bothered by the decision Amen. of the Supreme Court, yeah. you are of your father, the yeah. devil. That's right. Now, the reason why some of you are not bothered because you have a gay son, a gay daughter, a gay uncle, a gay father, a gay mother, a gay cuz, a gay pastor. That's yeah. right. That's right. And you want to justify it because you have family members who love abomination. Yeah. Have you noticed, brothers and sisters, practically every televised TV evangelist that got mega churches, the homosexual subject is off limits. That's right. Don't touch it, sir. Joel Austin won't touch it. Don't touch it, Benny Hill, I mean, Benny Hinn, he won't touch it. Amen. Creffler, old nickel, old dollar. He won't touch it. T.D. Jakes no, won't touch it. No. Fred Price, why won't they touch it? Mm -hmm. Because to them, the homosexual money is as green as the street. That's, That's right. right. Now let the truth of God make something clear. We don't hate the homosexual person. That's right. oh, I, know. I am not homophobic. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Just like a crackhead. I don't hate the individual. No, sir. I'm dealing with the conduct and the deed. That's it. I can show you Bible where a man of God addressed homosexuals That's right. as brother. That's right. Give me the book of Genesis. I want to give to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. He addressed them as brothers. That's right. That's it, Prop. Take your time, sir. Take your time, sir. He didn't hate the man. No, no. But he was preaching against their deed. That's yes, right. he was. Man. I want to show you this. You know, I love to get Bible for all, all the good things, you That's know. Right. That's right. All right, son, let's go to work. Genesis chapter 19, and we'll start at verse 5. Give, give chapter and verse again. Genesis chapter 19, and we're at the fifth verse. Listen. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, where they are, called unto Lot and said to him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? That's the way America is. And let, let us, listen, let us not look at Sodom and Gomorrah as a place just of the past. That's right. right. Because the past also represents the present. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Because not only America fall under this scripture, right. mm -hmm. the whole world fall under this scripture. Amen. Amen. The whole world. The whole world. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Amen. Now let me say in advance, mm -hmm. I don't know how long we're going to be on the station in Canada. That's right. That's I'm right. telling you right now. That's right. I don't know. That's right. And the reason why I say I don't know because the law in Canada make it illegal to speak against homosexual. Amen. I don't care what law have it. That's right. Amen. Preach the word. That's it. Preach the word. I have a command. That's right. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Yeah. That's right. Wonderful. And God commands, yeah. preach, preach the, the, word. the word. Preach the word. God ain't tell me to preach for ratings. No, no. He didn't tell me to preach to be loved. No, no. Or to be accepted. That's right. He said, preach the word. Preach the word. So I don't know how long we're going to be on the station. I don't know. Amen. But I'm going to preach the word. Preach the word. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you everything that God had me to tell you. That's right. Now let's look at this. And when they Give called. Chapter and verse again. Now in Genesis chapter 19 and verse 5. What happened? And they called unto Lot and they said unto him. They called unto Lot and said to him. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Where are the men that we, we, we was watching? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Now, they didn't want to know their name, their social security number, their telephone number. <laughs> no. They wanted to know their birth date. No. Mm -mm. No. That way it is written how Adam knew his wife. Mm -hmm. What you mean? He laid with his wife so children could come here. 
That's it. So if they wanted to know the brothers, no. the angels yeah. right. that came to be there with Brother Lot. That's right. Now I want you to look at how deeply the lust was. Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Bring them out unto us that we may have relationship with them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. You see, he shut the door behind him. He didn't want to want to creep in, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. And said, I pray you. I pray you. Brethren. Brothers and brothers. Amen. He didn't, he, he didn't hate the men. No. He was focused on what they were doing. That's it. Do not so wickedly. He's focused on the deed. That's it. And what did he call the men? Brethren. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So, to the homosexual brothers. brothers. Amen. To the homosexual brothers. Yeah. What do you mean, brothers? Because I don't care what you do, you a man. Still a man. Still a man. Bruce Jenner, you might as well put your track shoes on and run right back to your manhood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I right, man? Amen. Bruce Jenner, you might as well put your track shoes back on and run right back in your manhood. That's right. Because you're still a man. Still a man. What you making out to be now? Oh, Lord, help us. You're still a man. Still a man. You see, the Bible says they change the truth into a lie. That's right. What is that lie? That breast is not yours? Yeah. Uh huh. That's a lie. Those cheeks are not yours? That's right. Uh huh. That's right. No. No. That's it. Change the kinds. Amen. What did you do? You breached your contract. Yeah. Right. Amen. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Now look how wicked this country is. That's it. That's it. That's it. Interviews. Mm. Now he have his own reality show. That's it. Even changed his name. My lord, my lord. And changed his birth certificate. That's right. Mm. So it says, suppose they sue, sue you. What do I do? I look like I care. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, you viewers accept this mm -hmm. when a celebrity do it. That's, That's right. right. Man. That's it. There's nobody Man. more popular than God. That's Man. right. Man. 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 Nobody. Nobody. Man. So when a celebrity, mm -hmm. a rapper, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. entertainer, mm -hmm. Talk show host, mm -hmm. a musician, an athlete, mm -hmm. a politician. Yeah. When they come out and sanction it, they pressured the judicial system of America. That's right. And now all you weak Bible toting preachers Amen. are scared. Amen. You scared because you're getting subsidies from the government. Yeah. That's, right. That's, it. That's, That's right. financing your federal program. That's, That's right. right. That's it. I wouldn't care if we had a program and got a million dollars a week. Amen. We will never compromise for money. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. For nobody. Wonderful. 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 Let me make something very clear. Hallelujah. We organize a nonprofit organization. Yes. It's called the Emmanuel Advancement Center, mm -hmm. the EAC. Yes. And our program that we're putting together is designed to implement various programs to help community and church. Right. GED programs, mm -hmm. drug rehabilitation, right. female abuse, mm -hmm. child abuse. Mm -hmm. Job training. Amen. It, it will cover so many areas. But if there's one grant or one type of funding that the government want to give us with the if attached. That's right. And that if have to do with our faith. Yeah. We will pass up 
every penny Amen. and stick to the faith. Amen. We will not sell our soul to America no. for nothing and for nobody. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Let's read this quickly. Then I get the letter that we had done to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Because we're dealing with the higher court than them. Oh, yeah. Oh, certainly, Pretty quick. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Lot knew what to do. Mm -hmm. He even offered his daughters. Two daughters. What was he telling them? If you're going to do wrong, at least do it right. That's right. I got two daughters. Lot is telling you, telling those men right then. Right there. The woman was made for the man. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. So I got two daughters. I recommend them to what you, whatever you're going to do, do it with some women. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen to what Lot says. I have two daughters. I have two daughters. Which have not known man. Not only do I have two daughters, but they're virgins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. I'm willing to bring my daughters and give them to you. And do ye to Just them. Just so you don't be with your own kind. That's right. I will give my own daughters to you. That's right. And when I give them to you, I suggest. And do ye that to you them. do to them. As is good in your eyes. Whatever make you happy. Only. Only. Unto these men. To these men. Do nothing. Don't do this. That's what I'm saying. That's to right. the whole world. That's right. Men do nothing. When it comes to men, mm -hmm. what should you do? Do uh, nothing. No, a little bit. Uh, a little here and a little there. Nothing. Not even a kiss? Nothing. What about a hug? Nothing. Pat your backside? Nothing. Buy you some flowers. Nothing. That's a Hallelujah. That's right, sir. Do nothing, sir. Do nothing. That's it, sir. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. All right, let's get the letter we sent to the Supreme Court. July and then the we'll get some other mail, God willing. Come on, Dan. July the 1st, year 2015. To the Chief and Associate Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States, we write this letter of concern over the recent ruling in which same-sex marriages are now legal and recognized in all 50 states. We are Assembly of Holiness, and as our tenets of belief are based upon Holy Scriptures, we must go on record as stating that we are in total disagreement with this ruling. We do understand that the ruling has been published and is available for public viewing. However, we would like to invite each of the justices to participate in a televised discussion with us so that you may each speak plainly on your views and thoughts which have led to this court ruling. As a country in which the official motto is, quote, in God we trust, we cannot understand how this ruling, which now impacts our entire country, can be in agreement with the very one who first defined marriage as concerning between a man and a woman. So you see, either God is right in his manner, or the court is. But this contradictory to herald in God we trust, when we define it of our acts of marriage by the highest court in the land, offers a direct challenge to the original author of it. We are aware that there were four dissenters in the ruling, Chief Justice Roberts, Chief Justice Scalia, Chief Justice Thomas, and Chief Justice Alasso, Alito, beg your pardon. And we recognize that their reasons for dissent may not be exactly the same as our reasons for disagreement. So we would also like to invite the justice who gave dissenting opinions to the aforementioned discussion to share their thoughts on the matter publicly. In closing, we would like to make mention of the chant which is stated at the opening of your sessions. It includes the words, quote, God save the United States and this honorable court. Are these words merely stated for th uh, uh, rhetorical purposes and dramatic polls? Or do we all as a nation truly desire God to save us from the decisions and opinions which oppose the very one to whom we reference. God save us indeed. We look forward to hearing from you in hopes that we might have this open dialogue. You may contact us 
in, by the email address in the tele and telephone number given in the letterhead. Please also feel free to visit our website at www.truthofgod.com to learn more about our organization. We thank you in advance for your time and attention. Your sincerely, Pastor Gino Jennings, General Overseer. <laughs> This ruling directly challenged the wisdom of God. Yeah. That's right. God Himself yeah. is the one that designed marriage. That's right. That's right. Not Barack. That's right. No. God's law. Not the Supreme Court. Right. That's right. For there was a courthouse, there was God. Yeah. God. And God plainly said mm -hmm. that it was not good for man to be alone. Amen. And the Lord God said. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Do you hear? Genesis chapter 2 when we're at verse 18. What is it? And the Lord God said. The Lord God said. It is not good that the man should be alone. It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him an help I, I, I will make him a help me. For him. For him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. And what did he do? And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Hold it right there. You know, and let me correct something right now because uh, doctors and them that <laughs> studied the body says that, you know, a man have 12 ribs. I don't know how many ribs a man got. <laughs> but as a result of God taking one rib from Adam, mm -hmm. men have said to this very day, that now every man only got 11 ribs. Amen. Every man is missing a rib. No. As, as a result of that. Of that. They always make up something, don't they? That's right. Come on, son. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. And? And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man. He made a man. Made he a woe man. No, no, no. I got a handkerchief. You want to clean your glasses? <laughs> and the rib which the Lord God... You see, the Bible says, search the scriptures. Search. And I, I'm just looking for justifiable cause yeah. for men to marry men. That's now, right. let me say to all you judges, mm -hmm. every judge in America and the world mm -hmm. that performed same-sex marriages... Mm -hmm. You have performed an act of blasphemy. That's right. Everyone. Let me say it again. Mm. The marriages that you performed are mock marriages. Oh, yeah. They are not authentic marriages. Mm -hmm. They are not real marriages. Mm -hmm. They are imitation. That's right. That's right. They are counterfeit. That's right. Counterfeit. Are you listening? Amen. Learn. Listen at the book. Now in the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and at verse 1. Says what? Learn. Learn. Ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Learn. You that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear. Pay attention. Ye that rule the people. That rule the people. And glory in the multitude of nations. What? <clears throat> For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person. Now to all the judges, mm -hmm. I want to say to the homosexual community, yeah. I don't hate you, and it really don't matter to me if you believe I'm not telling you the truth. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. All you men and all you women that's married to your own kind, mm -hmm. you're not married. Ye no. have not judged a right. Do you hear this? Now in the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 4. What happened? Ye have not judged a right. You ain't judged it right. Nor kept the law. You didn't keep the law. Nor walked after the counsel of God. And you didn't walk after God's counsel. Mm -hmm. There is no real marriage in the world. That's right. Where you got two men and two women. That's that right. is not a marriage. That is mockery. mockery. In fact, you're making mockery of the law of marriage. That's right. Excellent, Pastor. Excellent. Can't be a marriage. That's why you can't even use the same language. That's it. 
can't say I pronounce your husband and wife. No, no. I do it to you. You're just changing. You're changing. You're changing. Mm -hmm. And God says you will change it. That's right. Changing the truth of God. You change the truth of God into a what? Into a lie. So they say I pronounce you partner That's right. and That's partner. Right. That's right. And some of the judges say I pronounce you wife and wife. Mm -hmm. My Lord. And some judges say I pronounce you husband and husband. Mm. Change the truth into a lie. You celebrities. You celebrities that watch the truth of God, mm -hmm. that condone same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the whole world love you. <laughs> buy your CDs, buy your albums, go to your concerts, mm -hmm. be interviewed all over the world. Yeah. You can have all the money you want. Mm -hmm. Not a dollar will keep you from standing before the judgment seat of God. Yeah. That's right. That's right, sir. That's certain, sir. That's right. That is certain. Are you that rich to actually think mm -hmm. that your wealth mm -hmm. and your earthly prosperity yeah. impresses God? Amen. Go ahead, Pop. So foolish. You think God care mm -hmm. who you are? That's right. That's right. No respect to yourself. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful, sir. Go ahead, Pop. Jay-Z condone it? Yeah. But J.C. is against it. That's, That's right. right. That's it, sir. That's right. Amen. His wife, Beyonce, condone it? Yeah. Amen. But God is against it. God right. is against it. Wendy Wim, the talk show host, condone it? My Lord. God is against it. God's That's against right. it. Amen. Barack Obama oh. condone it? Yes. God is against it. Amen. That's right. The Queen of England condone it. Amen. God is against it. That's right. Amen. I'm on the Lord's side. Sir. Wonderful, sir. That's right. Wonderful, sir. You that are watching, yes, sir. you that is on the Lord's side. Amen. Right. It Wonderful. is written, come to me. Come to Wonderful, me. Pops. Be on the Lord's side. Wonderful. Be on the Lord's side. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. We are on, on the, the Lord's, Lord's side. side. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Pop. Go ahead, sir. Wonderful. Yeah. On the Lord's side. We're on the Lord's side. Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Go ahead, Pop. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. Satan yeah. has woven this homosexual spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the world, sir. Throughout the world. Wonderful. Even put it in cartoons. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. To manipulate our kids. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Amen. Take your time. Go ahead, Pops. Go ahead. Preach it, Pops. Preach it. That's wonderful, sir. Wonderful. We'll show two male cartoons. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right, sir. Kissing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Two male cartoons. Amen. Yeah. Getting married. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See if they use cartoons, it downplay the severity of it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Very subtle, sir. And make it more fair seeming right. and acceptable to children. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's the circumstance. So the children That's will right. go to school mimicking That's right. what they saw Buzz Bunny do to Daffy Duck. Amen. Amen. That's the circumstance. That's it. Go ahead, man. Oh, the devil ain't called a serpent for nothing. That's right. Man. The media is a tool for Satan. That's right. That's right. God of this world, sir. Wonderful, sir. Oh, yeah. Through the media, yes, sir. marriages fall apart. That's right. Through the media, churches that fell apart. That's right. Through the media, man. they have turned on God man. and denounced him. Yeah. Man. Wonderful. Go ahead, sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. We use the media for one purpose. Yes, sir. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. Publish gospel. We ain't on YouTube to record me talking on the phone no, no. That's right. to somebody. No, that's to right. To record me outside of somebody's church videotaping them. No, yeah. We ain't got time for that no, trash. Go ahead. Lift him up, sir. Lift him up. Wonderful, sir. We over the air Lift. for one thing. Lift him up. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. Turn them darkness to light. From darkness to light. Amen. From the power of Satan. the power of Satan unto God. God. Amen. 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 Right. Hallelujah. Lift him up, sir. Publish it. Wonderful, sir. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. That's what we over the air for. That's right. That's right. That's it. We ain't over the air for nothing else. That's, That's it. enough. That's it, sir. That's the whole story. Every celebrity, every politician that condone same-sex marriages, mm -hmm. you are not on God's side. No. 
and you that claim you're Christians, yeah. you're liars. Yeah. 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 There is no such thing as a homosexual Christian. No, no such thing. No. no. Let me say it again. No such thing. There is no, no, no such thing Amen. as a homosexual Christian. No. Amen. You may be homosexual and go to church. Mm -hmm. Christian means I'm living like Christ. Amen. Right. Christ didn't lay with men. No, he didn't. No such thing. No such thing. Amen. I even had some people left the truth of God because they felt as though I hit too hard. I had some so-called brothers said that, Pastor Jennings, you know, I know you're preaching the truth, but you know, but you you just kind of too rough yeah. on the homosexual question. Yeah, you got me. Uh, it takes a real man yeah. to sit under this message. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You gotta be a real man to take this. Amen. Amen. Sister asked me one day, do you always got to talk about lesbianism? Mm. I said, why? Do it bother you? Mm. My Lord. You see, it doesn't matter what's in you. If you want it to come out, you got to be around the right stuff to get it out. That's right. That's it. That's right. You got to be around this there's something yeah. in everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, sir. But you got to be around the right thing yeah. Oh, yeah. to drive it out. That's yeah. right. That's it. That's it Are you listening? That's right. Yeah. They're around the fire. That's why you folk love the devil's churches. Amen. It ain't nothing coming out. No, Preacher pacify you. Amen. Tell you what you want to hear. Amen. Tell you what you like to hear. Amen. You jump and shout that day. Amen. Because it ain't nothing coming out. <laughs> so in a, in a way that these men try to retaliate, they say, Pastor Jennings don't have love. Yeah. Yeah. That's, an That's an excuse. That's an excuse. I preach love. That's, That's right. right. God is love. Amen. And God is the word. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful, sir. So to the whole homosexual community, you're not married. Not married. You can marry all the men you want and you're a man. Your license is just as good as a $3 bill, a $4 bill, a $7 bill. That's how much value your license has. That's right. So you go around, you go on and flaunt yourself now. It ain't no brother or no sister should be at a gay parade. No way. No way, oh, no. No, way, no way. That parade is full of spirits. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. And you'll mess around and get that spirit. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. That spirit will follow you home. Yes, it will. Follow you to church. That's right. Yeah. That's it, sir. That's it. Am I right, I say? Amen. Yes, sir. Excellent, Father. Beautiful, sir. Wonderful. Excellent. Ye have not judged a right. You're not judging right. No, sir. Right. Nor kept the law. I'm telling you, we are at the end of all things. Amen. It's coming to an end. Yes, yes. And this is why the word of God is preached harder and harder Amen. and harder. Amen. I remember one brother said to me some years ago, I'm going to pray that, you know, that you kind of ease up. I said, you might as well go find the biggest chicken and eat them. <laughs> There's no easing up here. No, no. Amen. We're living in perilous times. Amen. And the devil's after our young boys and young girls. That's right. Hey Amen. You ain't got time to complain about me. No. You can turn television on, radio, and internet. All you hear is preachers talking about Pastor Jenny, Pastor Jenny. Don't waste your time preaching me. No. That's right, that's right. Complain about me. That's right. Complaining about me ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna stand on God's word after you're dead and gone. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, let's get some more letters real quick, Dan. Come on. Uh, this letter comes from Australia. 
I am addicted to your telecast. So am I. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Uh -huh. Keep preaching strong. With the help of God, we'll do that. I would like to know if there are any of your churches in Australia. Not yet. If not, can you come and start one? God willing, we'll do that. Australia needs the truth. Yes, God. it does. The land down under. Amen. <laughs> God willing, we'll bring this message to Australia. You know, doors is just opening up all over. Yeah. All over. People is pulling on the truth of God all over. I'm only one man. I only can be in one place at a time. Right. Some folks say, slow down. Well, you got to talk to God about that. Amen. Amen. God says, greater work than these shall you do because I'm going back to spirit. Yeah. And you know that as things begin to grow, people are hungry. Oh, yeah. They are hungry. There are people that are sick and tired of this weak watered down, remarried and divorced and two God and three gods and many skirt in homosexual religion. Amen. That's sugar preaching. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. That's sugar preaching. That's right. And the reason why you folk love it because they're sugar babies. Sugar babies. Amen. And your pastor is your sugar daddy. That's right. Come on, son. Come on, son. Oh, staying in Australia, Perth, Australia. Greatest Pastor Jennings. I'd like to know if it is possible to contact you or a representative as we need to make contact as we desperately... This is another letter from Australia? Another from Australia. All right. As we are desperately seeking to become members of the Church of God. We are from Perth in Australia and have called the office a number of times but just got the answer machine. Can you please advise the best day and time to call or what we need to do as we are hungry for a temple to be established here mm. and are ready? Awaiting your reply, mm. Perth, Australia. Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. All right, next letter. Staying in Australia. Hi, Pastor Jennings. My name is Peter, and I have lived in Australia, and I love to watch, your, you, watch you preach the Word of God. But I have one question, sir. Isn't Jesus the Son of God? Why is that you call Jesus God? Please help me to understand. Lord, dear God, I help you understand it perfectly. Amen. Yes, he is and was the Son of God. Amen. Why do I call him God? I'm talking about what was in him. That's right. Now let us understand that in order for us to be saved, Australia, Australia, in order for us to be connected to God, in order for us to be delivered from our sins, a sacrifice had to be offered. Amen. In the days of old time, they offered up, and I mean old time, I mean during the time of the Old Testament. Amen. They offered lambs and bullocks and heifers and turtle doves. They burnt them on the altar until it was consumed by fire. Many times they will slay the sacrifice and the blood will run down the altar. Blessed be God, those things were simply a shadow, shadow. or an example of a sacrifice that was needed. That's it. So God saw the condition of the human family because man fell from the grace of God mm -hmm. and from the glory of God and from the laws of God. Adam became disobedient after God told him to touch not the tree of the knowledge good and evil. He disobeyed and ate of the fruit. And from that time until now, sin made his introduction to the world and death by sin. So that death passed upon all men because they all had sin. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned at the similitude of Adam's transgression. So God, he did put a search out. That's right. He did search. Mm -hmm. They see who was qualified or worthy mm -hmm. that died for humanity. That's right. It is written in the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation. And at verse 3. And verse 3. And no man in heaven. No man. Hallelujah to God in no heaven. Man. Nor in earth. Nor in earth. Neither under the earth. What you mean under the earth? That means he check out the grave. That's right. Go and nothing down there was located. Was able to open the book. Was able to open the book means to fulfill the book. Neither to look thereon. Neither to look thereon. And I wept much. Oh, the apostle John saw the condition of the thing and it made him cry. Because no man was found worthy no man, to open. No man was found worthy to open. And to read the book. And to read the book. Neither to look thereon. Then what happened? And one of the elders what saith unto me. One of the elders. Around the throne there's 24 seats. Yeah. Which seat 24 elders clothed in white raiment. And they have crowns of gold on their head. And one of those elders spoke to John we, and said, don't cry. Behold. Because I, there, there's something that's going to be done about the problem. The lion of the tribe of Judah. What? The lion of the tribe of the Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. David's root. Has prevailed. What you mean David's root? David offspring. That's right. Has, has, has prevailed, prevailed to open the book. To open the book and then loot the seven seals thereof. And I beheld. I beheld. And lo, in the midst of the throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. And of the four beasts. And in the midst of the, the elders. Of the elders. Stood a lamb. That, that stood what? Stood a lamb. They stood a sacrifice. As it had been slain. As it has been slain. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you something, Australia. 
The only one that can redeem you. Listen, let's work on the titles of God, mm -hmm. Savior yeah. and Redeemer. Yeah. Now let's understand something, Australia. How many saviors do we have? How many saviors? We only got one savior. That's right. Jesus is that savior, is he not? That's right. That's right. Jesus is that redeemer, is he not? Mm -hmm. Well, if we only got one Savior, the scripture is called God a Savior. That's right. Huh? Isaiah 45 and verse 21. Listen. Tell ye. Tell. I, I'm telling Australia right now. Tell ye and bring them near. I want to bring you close to the message. Yea, let them take counsel together. Take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient times? Yes. Who hath told it from that time? What happened? Have not I the Lord? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God there else beside me. There is no God else besides me. A just God. I'm a just God. And a savior. Australia, you don't have two saviors. That's right. Here's God is the savior. Mm -hmm. But yet the book let us know that Jesus is the savior. That's right. And you don't have two saviors. That's right. Now get Titus this. chapter 2 and verse 13. What is it? Look at Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. What is it? Looking for that blessed hope. Glory to God. Looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearance. And the glorious appearance. Of the great God. Of the great God. God. And wait a minute. Mm -hmm. He's called the great God. The great God. And what is his name? And our Savior. He's also called our Savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, Australia, the question is this. Where did Jesus get his name from? That's right. Glory to God. The name of Jesus is an inherited name. Mm -hmm. When you inherit something, it is passed down. That's right. In the first chapter of the book of Hebrews. And at the fourth verse. And verse four. Being made so much better than the angels. Now God, as you know, is not me. <clears throat> but the son of God, or the flesh and blood, that's me. That's right. The reason why he was made better than the angels. Better. Because he had a name mm -hmm. that was excellent. That's right. And the name that they would even bow to. That's right. Being made so much better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance. As he hath by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. The name of God is Jesus. That's right. Don't you know Christ was in the Old Testament, that, Australia? That's right. Listen to what I'm about to tell you, Australia. Australia. Christ, Christ was with Moses. That's right. But the Son of God wasn't. That's right. Get me. Christ, Christ was with Moses, mm -hmm. but Mary's son was not. First Corinthians chapter 10. I want to get you good. Let me tell you again. Christ, I said, yeah. was with Moses mm -hmm. in the wilderness. That's right. But the son of God wasn't. That's right. Let me show you this. First Corinthians chapter 10, and we're at verse 4. And I'll explain what I'm talking. That's right. All right. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. They all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And who was that? And that rock was Christ. Now hear that rock. Was lived in the wilderness mm -hmm. with the children of Israel. That's right. There was no son of God back then. No. Mary wasn't even back then. No, no. Mary wasn't even born. That's right. Joseph did not even exist. Mm -hmm. But Christ is not the name of God. No. Christ is the title of God. That's right. So being that God has the title Christ. Christ. And God has the name Jesus. Yeah. God was in Christ Jesus. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. God was in that body. Now let me educate you, Australia. The body that Mary birthed had the title son. That body of flesh and blood was called son, was called prophet, was called mediator, was called man, was called man child, was called minister, was called servant. But God was inside of that body. That's right. And because we needed to be redeemed, every man on earth was disqualified. Yeah. So God himself come in the likeness. That's right. In the likeness of sinful flesh. Of sinful flesh. God did not become flesh. No. He made flesh. Then got in the flesh that he made. That's right. When God got in the flesh that he made, yes, the flesh that he was in took on his name. That's right. And it took on his titles. That's, That's right. He was the express image of God. Of God. In fact, one scripture says he's the express image 
of his person who being the brightness of his glory you better, you better read this in hebrews chapter one and we're at verse three yes who being the brightness of his glory who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person he is the express image of his person hold it when you got a person, you got a personality. That's right. That's right. So the personality of God right. was expressed out the image of the Son of Man. Go ahead. That's right. God's the, Spirit. the personality of God right. was expressed through the image of the Son of Man. That's right. You see the expression of his personality. Yeah. He being all powerful. Amen. That's right. Lazarus, come forth. Come forth. That's the personality of God. That's right. Being expressed. That's right. Through an image. That's right. Mm -hmm. His personality that he showed was the power to raise dead. That's right. So he expressed it through the image. Mm -hmm. The image was the express, express image. person. Mm -hmm. It was an express image. That's right. God expressed himself. Mm -hmm. Through an image. That's right. He talked through it. That's right. He healed through it. Yeah. He preached in it. Oh, yeah. He walked on water in it. That's right. Are you listening? Who being the brightness of his glory. I had someone ask me, but where in the Bible did anybody just plainly address God by calling Jesus? Give me uh, Acts 759. That's right. Acts 7:59. Acts chapter 7 and at verse 59. There's a man named Stephen. Some of you call him Stephen was being stoned. Mm -hmm. And while he was being stoned, he looked steadfast up into heaven. Mm -hmm. And he the Bible speak plain who he called on. And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. Calling upon God. Call upon who? Calling upon God. By what name? Saying, Lord Jesus. Listen, if that's not his name, you don't need to call him that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's what gave that name so much power, power. so much authority. Mm -hmm. Because right. it's God's name. That's, that's right. right. And when God manifests himself in the flesh, that flesh took on the name of God that was in it. That's right. That's why the flesh never got credit. That's right. Mm -hmm. He always would take and point you to the spirit, which was God that was in that flesh. That's right. So long as the son of man walked earth, right. the body was the son of God. But what was in that body was God. God and that right. body wore God's name. That's right. You think the name of Jesus just came when Jesus arrived? Mm. No. Oh, no. The name of Jesus was here mm -hmm. long before he, that body was even born. First in Isaiah chapter 63 and at verse 16. Isaiah 63, 16. Then we get Luke 2, 21. Thou, O Lord. Who? Thou, O Lord. Thou, O Lord. Art our, our, our Father. You are, you are what? Thou, O Lord, thou, art o Lord, our Father. You are our God. Our Redeemer. Our Redeemer. Thy name. Thy name. Is from everlasting. It been here. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ is from everlasting. In from other words, the name of Jesus never had a beginning. That's right. It always was. Mm -hmm. Because God always was. That's right. He just introduced it to humanity. Mm -hmm. In other words, he introduced what was already here from everlasting to humanity. That's right. Why? So they can get salvation through it. That's right. All right. Also in Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Come on, son. And when eight days were accomplished for eight the circumcision was of the over child. For the circumcision of the child. His name was called Jesus. Which was so named of the angel when before when before when before when before, before, before he what? was conceived in the womb Amen. before it was born. Hallelujah. The name was already here. That's right. So that body had the name of the spirit that was in it, and the name of God is Jesus. That's right. And that body was that flesh and blood that God used to redeem you and I. That's, that's, right. that's why we come in the name of God. And right. given him a name. Do you hear that? And in Amen. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 9. What is it? Wherefore God also hath highly exalted Look him. Look at it talking about the spirit. Mm -hmm. There's a separation between the human and the divine. That's right. There's a separation between the inner man and the outer man. That's right. And listen plainly what the apostle Paul says. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him. God hath highly exalted him. And given him a name. I told you that body didn't always have it. That's right. Because the body itself didn't always exists. That's right. The name of Jesus was a given name. Given him a name. That given him a name. Which is above every name. It's superior to everything. That at the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. The Spanish brothers were said at the name of uh, Jesus. 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 The uh, Arabs were said at the name of Isa. Mm -hmm. The Hebrews were said at the name of Hashua. Yeah. I have some brothers now writing me who use the name Hashua. Mm -hmm. There are some they love the broadcast, and then there are some write me and say, why don't you use uh, the name Hashua in the original language? Yeah. Are you that foolish to actually think there's only one language that can call on God's name? <laughs> Amen. Huh? That's right. Are you that foolish? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. God is the author of all languages. All languages. Huh? That's right. Uh, there's no need for me to say Hashu. I'm not a Hebrew. No. Well, they talked to Paul in the Hebrew language. That's right. Why? Paul was a Hebrew. That's right. From the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. So when God talked to me, he's going to talk to me in my language. That's right. Glory to God. Right. Eh? Amen. Why? Every nation. Every nation. Glory to God. He want every nation to come unto this. Look unto and me. He want, if, he, if he want every nation to come to it, every nation ain't got the same language. Right. No. He's going to bring it to the Hebrew in his language, right. to the German in his language, to the Swedish in his language. Thank right. God. Regardless of how you say that name, name and your language and it have the same power same power and the same meaning that's right hallelujah it's gonna have the same thing all right dan the man come on this letter says if my husband and i were in fornication before we got married can this still be a marriage by god is my marriage blessed this person asks all right now fornication is committed by the single not by the married so you want to know if you were in fornication and then got married. Can you be blessed? Mm. Yes, you can be blessed, be blessed. As long as you repent for the fornication you were doing. Oh, yeah. And then when you get married, now you can do things the right way. That's right. Right. So you repent for your past fornication. And then when you get married, and then that, that past will stay past. Right. So yes, your, 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 your sins can be forgiven. That's right. All right. Let's get some Bible now. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. What is it? Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. In all. So you go on and get married. Mm -hmm. If you're not married, I advise you to get married and do it the right way. That's right. And why? Because I want you to avoid fornication. Avoid. You better give me the seventh chapter of the book of First Corinthians. And at if verse you will. one. All right. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, thing that I wrote unto you, it is good for a man. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Only God said that, because no man will say that. No, no. Not a real man, no way. That's right. Ain't no real man gonna say that. No, no. Uh, am I right? I said. Amen. What did he say? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. But what? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. To avoid fornication. What do God recommend? Let every man have his own wife. Every man. Every man. To avoid what? To avoid fornication. What should every man do? Let every man have his own wife. That lets you know fornication and adultery is two different things. That's right. Give it the 19th chapter of Matthew. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Quickly. That's what most people go to when they try to justify themselves, divorcing and all that stuff. Give me the 19th chapter of Matthew. Matthew chapter 19, we'll start at verse 3. All right. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him. That's what? And saying unto him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? All right. And he answered and said unto them, have you not read? That he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. Now, one thing I learned about Jesus, he will cover everything. Yeah. It's amazing how he, he, he'll answer you, but when you evaluate his answer, mm. it covers more than one thing. <laughs> that, that's right. Eh? That's right. Come on, And son. he answered and said unto them, have you not read? Did you not read? That he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. And what? And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife. All right. And they twain shall be one flesh. All right. They say unto him, why did Moses then? Command to give a writing of divorcement. Command to give a writing of divorcement. And to put her away. And put the wife away. He said Now unto Jesus him. gave you the reason. He said unto And it's not the reason for what these preachers give. That's right. That's right. Sir. Some folks say, God allow you to do it. That's a lie. That's a lie. Moses did. He saith unto them, Moses. Moses. No. Moses. God. Moses. No. The I am that I am. Moses. Jehovah. Moses. Amen. Moses. Because of the hardness of your heart. That lets you know right there who divorce are for. Hardness of your heart. All of you people that divorce, that are watching and listening, mm -hmm. it's only because you got a hard heart. That's right. That's who it's for, fleshy lovers. That's right. Then that love to trade in women and trade in trade. cars. They trade in <laughs> women and trade husbands like you do cars. Amen. Every excuse you come up with, get rid of it. That's right. That's why you in these churches where you can divorce. Yeah. That's why when they hear this gospel, they say, well, I, 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 I'm not going there. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm not going there. Why? Because, you know, I, I can't divorce. Can't I, divorce. I need to find something where I can get this burden off of me. Yeah. yeah so somebody say, well, look, go to Bishop Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop right. Lucifer? Yeah. Well, where's church at? Well, you make a right on, uh, on Wicked Highway. <laughs> And then you get on Hell's Boulevard. That's right, sir. And then you'll go right up to Satan's door. That's right. That's right, sir. 
One thing I say about divorce, if you want to do it, 99.9 .9 churches would allow you. Yes, to all of my viewers, any church that profess to be apostolic and allow you to divorce, that church is Satan's den. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Pastor by false prophets. Mm -hmm. These preachers are home wreckers. Oh, yes. What did he say? Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. Suffered you to put away your wives. But what? But from the beginning. But from the beginning. It was not so. God let you know his intent right. from the very time that he made the law of marriage, right. what he intended. That's right. He didn't intend for that to be. Amen. Oh, no. But what? And I say unto you. I say. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Uh -huh. Except it be for fornication. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. Let's read that whole thing. And, whosoever and I say unto, I you, say unto you, whosoever whoever shall put, put away, away his wife, wife, except it be, except it be for fornication, for fornication, and shall marry another, and marry another, committeth adultery, committeth adultery, and whoso marrieth her which is and put away, whoever marry her that's put away, doeth commit adultery. Let's look at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Whole picture. Because there's two different people in here. Yeah, that's right. There's two different type of people two here. Different types. Listen. And I say unto you. I say. Mm -hmm. Jesus covering everything. That's right. Uh huh. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. Now, a fornicated person is a single person. That's a single person. I want to certify as I go. Now in St. Matthew chapter 1. Let's go back to the book of Corinthians. And I want to establish who commit the fornication mm -hmm. and the recommendation to avoid it. That's Back in right. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 2. Listen. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let... Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Avoid it. Avoid it. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, to avoid to avoid fornication. What is the recommendation? Let every man have his own wife. Go back to Matthew. Amen. And I say unto you, you see, you preachers, you use a wide stitch. That's, yeah. right, That's why all your lies fall out. That's right. I love a good close stitch, Amen. so none of your lies can get in. That's right. Listen, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication. Now wait a minute. Paul said to avoid fornication. To avoid fornication. Get married. That's yeah. So here Jesus is talking about another type of person. That's right. The Mary is not committing fornication. That's right. The Mary commits adultery. Yeah. That's right. Now listen. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Now, that kind of wife is the one you engage to. Engage to. That's the one that Joseph had. That's right. The ex-spouse wife. Mm -hmm. She fornicate. You can put her away. Put, put her away. Now, let's get to the next group. Whosoever put away his wife, yes. except it be for fornication, and shall marry another. Now hold it. And if you marry another, committeth adultery. Wait a minute. Right. In order for the one to marry the one that already is in fornication, mm -hmm. I got to be married. That's right. That's already. Right. Already. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. Take your time, Let me demonstrate this. Sierra, come here. She must knew I was going to call her. She's putting her shoes on. Come here. Now, she's not married. I'm just making an example. Do you understand? Black, come here. This is my second oldest daughter. And don't you think Revelation is in here, too? <laughs> Now, read that again. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. All right, not married. So if she go out and do something, he can put her away. Put her away. That's right. That's right. Now what's the next clause? And shall Hold it. Go ahead. And shall marry another, committeth and adultery. Read the whole thing right. And I say unto you. I say unto you. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. Single folk commit fornication. Right. Single. Right. Are we clear? Right. Because when preachers don't know what fornication is, they shouldn't be in the pulpit. That's right. There's a difference between fornication and adultery. Right. 
You ought to know. You wasn't always married. Am I right? Amen. Now the fornicator one is put away. Put away. What's the next thing? And shall marry another, commit and adultery. Now, if the fornicator one that's put away, and somebody come along and marry that one who is married, right. they are committing adultery. Adultery. If I'm married and marry his girlfriend that he fornicated with, right. if I'm married, I commit adultery because I'm the one married. Right. Read on. And, and I say unto you, and I say, whosoever shall put away his wife, yes. except it be for fornication, Come on, son. and shall marry another, committeth adultery. All right. And whoso marrieth her, whoso marry her, which is put away, that is put away, doeth commit adultery. So if he committed, put away his girlfriend, for me to commit adultery, I got to be married. Right. So when I marry her, we are living in two conditions. Being that I got the living wife and she had never been married, she's still living in fornication and I'm still the adulterer. Right. right. That's it. That's it. All right, listen. Whosoever marry her and whoso marrieth her, away. which is put away, that's put away, doeth commit adultery. And what the Apostle Paul said in seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 7 and at verse 1. Says what? First, 1 Corinthians 7 and at verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid marriage. Avoid fornication. Avoid marriage. Avoid fornication. You foolish preachers, get out the pulpit. That's right. You mean to tell me you can't tell the difference between adultery and fornication? Right. Are you that blind Amen. and deceive of the devil? Amen. You're not ready to divide again. No. When a married man a marry another, mm -hmm. he's committing adultery. That's right. And if the one that he married is a girl that committed fornication, He's committing adultery with a fornicator. That's right. That's right. Both wrong. That's right. Both wrong. Amen. Two different class of people. That's right. That's plain. That's right. That's right. It says to avoid fornication. He didn't say to avoid marriage. No. Avoid fornication. Avoid it. Let every man. There are two type of wives. Yeah. Wife by marriage, and the spouse wife. Spouse wife. And the ex-spouse wife is the one you are engaged to. That's right. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. And the scriptures never said you can divorce as a reason to protect your assets. No. no. And your property. No, no, no. Scriptures ain't say that. No. So when preachers trying to give you that leverage, they're trying to condone adultery. Yeah. It ain't no such thing. Divorce, but don't get married. No. When they divorced in the scriptures in the Old Testament, yeah. the purpose of divorcing was to get somebody else. That's, That's right. Who in the world going to divorce and want to stay by themselves? That's right. <laughs> Listen, anytime you can't lie right, right. <laughs> you false prophets, you should, be a, you should do a better job in representing the devil. That's right. When you fail, when you fail in representing the devil, you know you're not doing no, good. No, you're not doing good. Huh? That's right. You, you're just not doing good. No, that's right. You got these grown men in these organizations can't tell the difference between adultery and fornication. They said, well, they're both the same act. No, they're not. No. If they had that they were the same act, it wouldn't be two class of people. That's right. Amen. Amen. Even in the Old Testament, Israel is written they committed adultery, adultery because they went after strange gods. What you mean? They got another. That's right. That's right. Strange gods. That's right. Why? Because they was married to Jehovah. That's right. Huh? That's right. They was married to Jehovah. And by them going after another God, they broke their contract. That's right. They broke their commitment. That's right. Because God said, have no other God before me. That's right. That's it, God. And by them getting another God, they committed spiritual adultery. That's right. Which is different. That's it, sir. Excellent, sir. Excellent, sir. Make it That's right. Why? Because now they're serving him. That's right. 
they're loyal to him. And now the worship that they're giving him is what they used to give God. That's right. Amen. All right, next letter. My pastor said the other day that John the Baptist did not have the Holy Ghost. Leave him. But the spirit of repentance. You leave your pastor. Get out of there real quick. Wonderful, Get away. This, this is the type of men that people are following. That's it. It's a sad thing, isn't it? Amen. Listen at this. This person says, my pastor said the other day that John the Baptist does not have the Holy Ghost. And what? But the spirit of repentance. Wow. Luke 1 15 says he was filled with the spirit from the womb. How do I approach my pastor on the matter? What you do, you take him Luke 1 15, right. read it, right. and ask him, is that the truth or is that a lie? And if he don't accept it, walk out. That's right. That's all. That's, it. That's right. That's it. Walk out and leave him. Walk out and leave him. Because if you don't believe what the word of God says, you don't need to stay there. No. He shall be great. Amen. Did you hear what's written? In Luke chapter 1 and verse 15. For he shall be great. Just ask him, was John great like the Bible said? Amen. Or what? In the sight of the Lord. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. Mm -hmm. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Where? Even from his mother's womb. Your pastor is a liar. Right. That's one of them blatant lies. Oh, yeah. And this is how bold the devil have made his preachers. Mm -hmm. They will lie boldly on the Bible and then go off into some tongue and start shaking. And then the people be sitting out there ee, ee, and a bunch of lies. And a bunch of lies. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. Let's get another one. Mr. Edwards from uh, says, uh, regarding 1 Corinthians chapter 10, if there are divisions in the church and no other church in your area believes that th things you believe, what should I do? This person asks. What should you do? Let's see what Micaiah told him to do. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Micaiah yeah. advised everybody to do. That's right. Give me the book of Kings. Kings. If there's not a church in your area that's standing for the truth, yeah. I want to tell you what the Bible Advise everybody to do. In 1 Kings chapter 22 and at verse 17. Follow me. And he said, I saw all Israel, I saw all Israel scattered, upon scattered the on the hill as sheep, as sheep that have not a shepherd. That's the problem. The churches don't have no shepherd. That's right. They don't have no leader. That's right. They don't have no watchman. Amen. They just got junk in the pulpit. Amen. The devil recycled something. That's yeah. Right. And throw it in the pulpit. Amen. That's right. All right. And the Lord said. Who said it? The Lord said. No, Jenna said it. The Lord said. What did the Lord say that they should do? These and, have, wait, 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 wait. What did the Lord say they should do if they don't have no shepherd? Let them return every man to his house in peace. Go home. Yeah, that's right. Amen. <laughs> Go home. Go home. Let them return. Huh? Go home. Amen. That's right. Bible says, let's read all of that again. And he said, I saw all Israel, I saw all Israel scattered upon scattered the hills on a hill. as sheep that have not a shepherd. The sheep is the church. The shepherd is supposed to be those that lead. That's right. And when the people are scattered like a sheep that have no shepherd, mm. they have no one to teach them, mm. no one to guide them, yeah. no one to warn them, right. no one to discipline them, right. no one to turn them to God, right. nobody to open up their understanding. Man. And the Lord said. So when said, you're in that condition and you don't have a church, let them the return. Lord said. Let them return. Let them return. Turn every man, everyone, to his house, to his house, in peace. Go home. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Amen. Go home. Hallelujah to go God. Go home. Go home. That's right. Bible didn't tell you take it upon yourself to have a Bible class. No. You men that are watching me now, I get letters from so many of you, Amen. I can't count. Amen. You don't have the authority to just get some people together no. and take it upon yourself to teach the scriptures. No, no. Some of you men jump up in the pulpit and say, you know why a lot of these churches have jumped up? Because some brother in a church disagreed right. with some preacher yeah. Yeah. and noticed he ain't got no calling that's until it. he disagrees. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. Am I right, man? Amen. Notice he ain't got no calling. That's it. He ain't got no anointing. But the moment he disagreed, moment. he opened up his mini market. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right then, jump in the pulpit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Amen. You gotta be qualified. Give me the first chapter of the book of Titus. 
First chapter of Titus. All you men out here that claim you elders. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me educate you. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. do not call and send elders direct. No, no, no. No, he make it plain in the Bible. That's right. Those who he call and send direct. That's right. Give me Luke, Luke. 1149. 49. Stay ahead of me, son. I don't like leaving you. Luke chapter but if 11. I have to, I will, you know. Luke chapter 11 and verse 49. What did it say? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Oh, he just want everything to follow him. I want everything to follow God. Oh, that's, it. that's it. That's it. This is order, church order. That's right. Listen at this. Luke 11 and verse 49. What was Jesus teaching? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Anything else is stupid, ignorant. It's foolish. It don't make sense. There's no logic to it. That's right. Therefore, say the wisdom of God. I will send them. God is talking. Mm -hmm. God is talking. I will God send them. God is talking. I believe God's testimony. That's right. He ought to know what he wants. That's right. He ought to know what he should have. That's right. I will I, send them. Well, I will send them prophets. Prophets. And apostles. And apostles. And mm -hmm. that lets you know that come direct from God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Direct from God. That's right. All right. Now, there's a whole lot of men. I mean a whole a lot in America and Europe and all that stuff saying they are elders and a bishop is an elder. That's, yeah. right. That's another thing y'all got messed up. You in these churches that you are elder and then your overseer ordained you a bishop and you thought you got a promotion. Right. That's right. Same thing. It's the same thing. That's right. The exact same thing. That's right. Here you ordain the elder, mm -hmm. and then the convention come around, and your demon lay hands on you, and you go from Elder Jones to Bishop Jones. You ain't got no promotion. No. You've been conned. That's right. You've been bamboozled. Amen. You've been duped. Oh, yeah. Right in church. Right in church. Same office. If I drive a, night, a, a 2015 El Cadillac, mm -hmm. that's black. And then you say, Pastor, I want to buy you a new car. And you bring me a 2015 Cadillac that's white. That's identical. The same model and everything. That's right. All you did was gave me the same car. That's right. Different color. Just a different color. That's it. Huh? Same thing. The same thing. I'm right. still Cadillacing. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm still Cadillacing. That's right. All right, I want to soak you because there's a lot of men now that hate this preaching. They're going around teaching, and this was taught before I was born, that you don't have to be ordained. A lot of you is out here in the pulpit because you had a dream. You ate too many beans. You ate too much rice. You got too much starch in your gut. Your meat wasn't well done. The blood from the meat that you ate, the mess with your brain. Amen. That's right. That's it, Pop. That's it. Go ahead, That's right. Let me show you the recipe, the recipe for a preacher. That's right. Titus chapter 1. Follow me. And we'll start at verse 1. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. They upset with me mm -hmm. like they was upset with Bishop Johnson. Uh -huh. Before Bishop Johnson died, the elders around the country were saying, the Bible said ordain elders in every city. You ain't going around every city and ordaining. It ain't a man of God living just going to jump up and start laying hands on folk like a fool. Like a fool. Not if you know the Bible. That's right. You got qualifications. You got to meet first. Amen. That's right. Amen. You got qualifications first. First. That's right. So I get letters now. The uh, Bible said, ordain elders in every city. I know it said that, mm -hmm. but you got to be qualified first. First. I ain't going to lay hands on you because you got a good testimony. No. I ain't going to lay hands on you because you're faithful in coming to church. No, no. I ain't going to lay hands on you because you got keys to the church. No. I ain't going to lay hands on you because you're related to me. No. I don't Go care ahead, nothing about that. Go the ahead. only thing that interests me is qualification. That's Amen. it. Amen. That's it. God's it's God's order. That's it. Listen at the word of God here. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of what, Jesus Christ. What is Christ. an apostle? One that's God called, God sent, God made, God, God appointed, Point. God taught, God off the rise, God revealed himself. Some folks say there ain't no apostles now. Stop lying. Stop lying. Well, Paul said he was the last apostle. He did not. No, no. Paul ain't never said he was the last one. No. Paul said he was the least, least of the apostles. Of the apostles. Mm. The least. He didn't say he was the last. No. Like in another place, Paul said he's the least of all saints. All saints. He ain't the last saint that was living. No. If so, we wouldn't be here. That's right. Amen. 
Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. I had someone write me and say, well, the reason why I know there are no apostles now, because all the apostles witnessed the resurrection. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. The apostle it. Paul wasn't nowhere around right. when Jesus rose. No. Huh? No, no. Paul wasn't here. No. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He came later. That's right. And after Paul came, being a Hebrew of the Hebrews, thank God, God revealed himself. Yeah, and said, right. revealed his son in me, that's that right. I may preach him, thank God, among the heathen. Among the heathen. He preached him among the heathen like Peter did. That's right. Come on, son. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of and Jesus an Christ. And an apostle, hallelujah to God, mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's elect. You know why they don't want no apostles now? Because the apostle is the highest ranking officer in the church. That's right. And, uh, and he laid down rule. Mm -hmm. And every bishop, every prophet, every elder, every minister, every deacon got to submit themselves to the apostles. That's right. That's right. You can't say you believe in the apostles' doctrine right. and don't believe there's no apostles. Amen. It's impossible. God had set some in the church. Do you hear what the word of God said? In 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 28. This is the doctrine of the apostles here. And God had set Who some. Who did it? God. Someone said, I haven't met none. That's your business. That don't mean there ain't none here. That's right. What did God say? God had set some in the church. God did it? God. God had set some. He did what? God had set some in the church. What? First. If God set them there, the church is still here. Still here. And they take everything back then. That's right. And they take it now. That's right. To perfect the church. That's right. Let's read that. Then we get the book of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. God, Read where you are. God had set some in the church. What? First apostles. First apostles. Secondary, Secondary prophets. prophets. Thirdly let's, teachers. Let's get the book of Ephesians, son. Mm -hmm. I want to show you why all this stuff is put in the church. Now, Ephesians 4, 11. Now in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Listen. And he gave some apostles. You see? Some. 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 That was set first mm -hmm. was made apostles and some and some prophets. You can't have a board of bishops come together and elect you to be some apostle. No, not that. No, no. A bunch of fellas dressed up in uh, Catholic clothes. That's right. That's little right. bean. You know, a lot of these apostolic faith now is wearing Catholic garments. Yeah. Little bean hats and uh, Catholic clothes and talking about they are apostles. No, you're not. No, you're not. You are put a difference between holy and unholy, no, right. clean and unclean. That's right. Come on. And and he gave some apostles, some apostles and some prophets some prophets and some evangelists be quick and some pastors and teachers what else four get the chapter and verse again now in ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12 he gave all these offices for what reason for the perfecting of the saints no he moved one of the offices out and and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. If you don't believe in one office, mm -hmm. you can never be perfected. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Never will. If there's one office you don't believe in, right. you can never get into the kingdom. For the perfecting of the saints. The church can never be perfected. Right. If I say one of these offices that's right. don't, exist, don't exist, you can never go on with God. That's right. Never. Never. Because God put them in the church for a reason. For the perfecting of the saints. These offices are in the church for all of us. That's right. That's right. For the perfecting of the saints. You can never be perfected without these offices. That's right. God put him in there. That's right. No man can take him out. No. God put him in. Amen. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets, some prophets, and some evangelists, evangelists and some pastors, pastors and teachers, teachers for, for the perfecting of the saints. He put all this in the church so the church can be complete. For the work. For what? For the work of the ministry. Amen. Amen. It's for the work of what? For the work of the ministry. A bunch of ministers and no apostles? No. Amen. It ain't no apostles now. Well, how did you become an elder? That's right. How did you become a bishop? That's right. How did you become an evangelist? Mm -hmm. You better not tell me God made you an evangelist. I make you lick it up. Mm -hmm. The apostle Paul told Timothy, do the work of an evangelist. The work of an evangelist. That's right. Philip the evangelist was ordained by the apostles. Yes, sir. He laid hands on them, That's and right. they was he was one of the seven. That's right. Yes, sir. Wonderful, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I want you to get this good, you little hand-me-down, raggedy Ann and Andy elders. And he gave some apostles. Let's get this first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus. Back in Titus chapter 1 now at verse 2. All right. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. All right, and hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. That's how God is getting his word over. Through preaching. 
And God ain't worrying about because you got dreams and all that stuff. Hey, pen that no mind. Oh, Everybody no. have dreams. That's right. Amen. Dreams don't make you. No. Ah, no. No, sir. No, no. Listen. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, uh -huh. which is committed unto me, Be quick. according to the commandment of God our Savior. What? To Titus, mine own son, after the common faith. The Apostle Paul's talking to a bishop, mm -hmm. talking to an elder. That's right. That's it. To Titus, mine own son, my own son, after the common faith. What is it? Grace, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. What is it? For this cause, all right. Left here you have the apostles laying instructions to an elder. That's right. He laying groundwork to him. That's right. For this cause, left I thee in Crete. No, God left you there. Left I thee in Crete. Now, the apostle had the authority to tell you where to go, mm -hmm. when to go, mm -hmm. how long to stay there, mm -hmm. and what to do while you're there. That's, That's right. Wonderful. That's right. That's the job of the apostle. That's right. Tell you what to do, where to go, what to do while you're there, how long to stay there. Amen. Amen. That's his job. Amen. That's his job. Huh? That's his job. He got the oversight. That's Amen. right. Amen. Come on, son. For this cause left I thee in Crete. There's the apostle Paul telling Titus, I left you in Crete. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are one. And I don't want you to let people do what they want to do. So mm -hmm. while you in Crete, I want you to put order. That's you got to keep order. Mm -hmm. and, and when you keep order, you're going to keep order according to what I'm preaching. That's right. The order that you keep can't deviate from what you learn. That's right. If I teach there's one God, you better keep that order there. Order. If I teach the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, you better keep that order there. That's right. If I teach speaking in tongues the evidence of the Holy Ghost, you better keep that order there. That's right. All the order of God must be handed down from one office to the other, Wonderful. and nobody's allowed to deviate. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's God's order. Wonderful, sir. It's God's order. That's right. What did he say? That thou should have set in order. It's order in the church. Amen. Set in order. The things that are wanting. That all things be done decently and in order. And, in and when order. the minister comes and do something that's out the word of God yeah. and disobey order, mm -hmm. then the next thing is to be corrected. That's it. Discipline. That's right. And he got to submit to it. Yes, sir. That's right. Come on. That thou should have set in order the things that are wanting. And, and ordain now elders. Here's the apostle telling a bishop. Mm -hmm. What to do? What to do? I want you to ordain elders, elders in every city. Now listen at him. He's telling him, this is the office I want you to get. Mm -hmm. I, want, I had one man read this. He said, well, Paul was teaching Titus to ordain old men. So only an old man can be an elder. You fool. That's a fool. You're so foolish. That's right. You're so sad. Amen. And these men are up in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. only, only old men are elders. Mm. There's two types of elders. Yeah. There's an elder as age, mm -hmm. but he wasn't talking about age here. No. He's talking about an office of ministry. That's right. This is a work of ministry here. Work of the ministry. That's why you got to be careful. You can, even though a brother may be your senior or your elder, you can't walk around freely and call him elder. No. You got to use good judgment right. because somebody may think that's an office he holds as a preacher. That's right. right. That's right. That's, huh? That's right. That's why the brother got to make the correction, even though he may be an elder in age. I, I may not be freely just say, oh, elder so-and-so. Somebody say, oh, I know he was a preacher. That's it. And if the brother don't correct it yeah. and just let a bunch of people keep calling him elder, 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 and yet he's not a preacher. That's right. And don't put the people in check. Well, look, I'm not an elder as preacher. I'm an elder in age. That's it. That's it. That's it. Then be honest and tell him that. That's right. For somebody to think you got ordained something that you're not. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, or All right. and ordain elders, ordain in, every elders city, in every city as, as I, who, I, as I did what? Had appointed this man ain't jump out, just start <laughs> ordaining folk. No. You had an apostle to lay hands on him and ordain him. That's right. All right, now let's skip this. If any be blameless, if, if. The moment it says if, it lets you know we got problems. <laughs> That's right. There's a big if there. That's right. Wonderful. If any, if any be blameless, if he's overzealous, you can't ordain him. No, you can't ordain him. No, mm, no, uh -uh, no. He loves money. You can't ordain him. Can't ordain him. He don't believe in no apostles now. Don't ordain him. That's right. He believes you can divorce and remarry. Don't you ordain him? Don't ordain him. Mm -mm, no, don't even, don't even bring your hands near him. Amen. Kryptonite. That's right. That's right. Don't touch him. That's right. He got a girlfriend? Nope. Can't ordain him. Can't ordain him either. He's a homosexual? Nope. Certainly not. No way. Nope. 
No, no. Nope. Don't ordain him. Nope. Mm -hmm. He's a racist. Don't ordain him. Don't ordain him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He got respect the person. Can't ordain you. Can't ordain him. Can't even touch it. No. Favoritism. No, can't ordain you. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Uh -uh. You sneaking, drinking wine. Can't ordain you. Amen. Because the Bible said about the bishop not given to wine. Not given to wine. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? That's right. All right. If any be blameless, be blameless. The husband of one wife. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. That means if you are married, how many wives you got to have? One wife. So no adultery, mm. no divorce, no girlfriend on the hip mm. where you can slip nope. and dip. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's right. He's out here making babies. Nope. And you can't ordain him. You can't ordain him. You can't ordain him. No. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. That's why the preachers are upset with this. That's Pastor right. Jennings don't ordain a lot of men. That's right. That's right. Take my time. I'm not in a hurry. No, no. In fact, a brother who's a brother who understands teaching, he's not in a hurry. No way. No way. He ain't in a hurry. No way. So you fellows that are watching and listening, see, you love the title. Amen. Amen. That's why you run to false prophets and they tell you, well, you can preach. Go ahead. You ain't got to wait for nobody to lay hands on you. Just go ahead. I did it. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on, sir. And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed What's thee. the qualification? If any be blameless. Blameless. The husband of one wife. If you marry only one wife. Having faithful children. If you're now, you're responsible for all the blessings under your roof. Mm -hmm. They got to be faithful. Mm -hmm. Not accused of riot. Or unruly. Hey Amen. As long as they're under your roof, you got to follow orders. If your children don't want to follow orders, get out and get your own roof. That's right. That's just that's that simple. That's it. Amen. That's, that's just simple. simple. Amen. Amen. You like living with your parents, you don't want to do what your parents say do, split. That's split. right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Bamboose. Amen. Bamboo right. yards. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Be gone. Be gone. Amen. That's just common sense. Amen. All right. For a bishop must be blameless. There's no maybe so about it. Must be blameless. You stealing church money can't ordain you. No. You sneaking playing the lottery ain't ordain you. No way. Can't blameless. ordain you. You playing the lottery. <laughs> you, you, you up there in the pool hall ain't ordaining you. Go ahead, man. You somewhere shooting crap ain't ordaining you. You can't take correction. Ain't no. ordaining you. Can't ordain. That's right. You say one thing when, the, when your leader's there and another thing when he's not. That's right. Yeah, I ain't ordaining you. Ain't ordaining you. That's a double tongue person. That's right. Come on. For a bishop must be blameless. What else? As the steward of God. You got to be the steward of God. Not self willed. When you're not self willed, that means you got discipline. That's right. You're going to ordain a self willed man, a man that won't hear. Won't take instructions, mm. won't follow leadership. And this is why you got so many churches. These men, the moment they disagree with some bishop, you didn't, you know what they say after that? God called me. I tried to avoid the calling. That's what they say. I tried to avoid the calling, and I couldn't avoid it no more. Amen. That's what they say. I've been running from it for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they use the excuse of a disagreement they got with the preacher of starting some church Amen. like a little gas station. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. I smash it into hell. Amen. Mommy got a disagreement. Oh, God dealing with me. God dealing with me. I got dreams. I, I have a dream. <laughs> I wouldn't care if you dreamed that Barney was reading for you and Big Bird was your choir director That's and right. Ernie and Bert was your deacons. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Qualifications you got to have here. For a bishop must be blameless. Any man that was not ordained by an apostle and declare yourself to be an elder. And if any man that is a bishop and was ordained by a bishop and the bishop that ordained you did not get permission from an apostle like Titus got his from Paul. Yeah. You did not get the office scripturally. That's right. And if you come any other way, what did the Bible call you? Thief and a robber. Amen. 
You preachers that are watching and listening around the world, many of you have not been ordained by an apostle or you were not ordained by a bishop who got permission from an apostle. Yeah. You're relying on Apollos. Mm -hmm. Well, who ordained Apollos? Paul, the Bible never said he was an elder. It never said that. Huh? No. If he was an elder, he was a mighty poor elder. That's right. Only knowing the baptism of John. John. That's right. How are you going to be an elder only knowing John baptism? Amen. Why would you need a husband and a wife? Mm. To expand on you the more perfect way. That's right. That's right. The is supposed to be teaching the husband and the wife. That's right. You shouldn't need Priscilla and Aquila to open up your eyes Amen. and you're an elder. Amen. By the way, he never said Apollos was an elder. No, never said that. Never I heard said. that lie since I was a little baby. Mm -hmm. They've been preached for years. Amen. Come on, son. For a bishop must be blameless. You fellas, you can duck and dodge all you want. The apostleship hang over your head Hangs like over. a thundercloud. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's a God. Right. <laughs> like a thundercloud. Amen. Never get away. Oh, no. You'll never get away from no, it. No. Come on, son. For a bishop must be blameless. A bishop must be blameless. As the steward of as God. As the steward of God. Not self will. Not self will. Not too angry. You, got, you can't be quick tempered. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, no, 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 no. If you get reprimanded because you made a mess up in the pulpit, yes. take it. Yes. If you can't take it, then get out the pulpit. That's right. You got up there and said something you ain't got no business saying. Mm -hmm. If you said it open, then we're going to get you open. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to take you in no office. You didn't say it in the office. Right, right. No, we're going to deal with it open and you're going to correct it open or you're going to be fired open. Amen. Eh? Amen. What did he say? Not soon angry. Can't get mad quick. I don't care if the word. Amen. Amen. Beat you so hard, you start going backward in age. I mean, just keep getting hit. 50, 49, 48, 30, 36, 20, 5, 1. Beat you all the way back to childhood. You got to take it. This is the qualifications here. Not soon angry. I want this to be good if I got any men that are visiting. You claim you was an elder. I know many of you got ordained in your organization. They catechized you out of a book or you took an exam. That, that don't work here. No, no. That's not God's order. No. What he's reading is God's order. That's right. Come on, son. Not soon angry. Can't get mad quick. Not given to wine. What? Not given to wine. Why are you drinking given. a toast to your wife? Mm. Not given to wine. <laughs> Why are you drinking a toast to your wife? Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead. Why are you doing drinking dinner wine? Drinking dinner wine. Well, the Bible says drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. Use a little. Use a little. Use is in two forms. Mm -hmm. Use is internally and externally. That's right. Externally, you will find that when the man fell among thieves yes. and the good Samaritan came by and bind up his wound and poured in oh, yeah. oil and wine. Yeah. Because of the alcohol and the strength of the wine, it will kill the germs of the wound. That's right. It was a cleanser. That's right. Sterilizer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not given to wine. And some of you are alcoholics and you are preaching. Yeah. You sweat so much from preaching, you smell like a whole brewery. Amen. Do you hear? Do you hear? Not given to wine. What else? No striker. Uh-oh. The moment the word of God is preached, something gets so upset, they're ready to throw their hands up at you. Yeah. Someone say, oh, well, we see you doing this, but I ain't hitting nobody. I ain't hitting nobody. Hit nobody. Right. I'm doing this to show you what I'm going to do to you with the book. Old Testament, New Testament. And we use both of them. Both of them. Work on you with the book. That's right. Eh? Amen. The word of God hits you, and when it's time for you to speak, brother, and only if you to get up and throw off on the message, no. you might as well take it. Amen. No striker. Can't be a striker. Mm -hmm. What else? Not given to filthy lucre. You ain't got no been in love and money. Amen. A, a person shouldn't have to pay you every time you do something. Mm -hmm. You put a doorbell up, twenty dollars. <laughs> Fix a lock, fifty dollars. Help him up the step, two dollars a step. Mm -hmm. Love money. Love money. You can't just help somebody. Amen. 
You mean we that bad, we just can't help a person? Amen. Without looking for anything in return. Amen. That's the way some, some folks are not like that. These false prophets that charge you, even for counsel. Yes, they will. I'll counsel you free. I'm going to point you right to the book. That's right. Now, the way it is now, these preachers will charge you up front. Up front. Before they speak for you. Oh, yeah. I want to say to all viewers, you should not be paying T.D. Jakes. You should not be paying Creflo Dollar. You should not be paying Fred Price. You should not be paying none of these fellas. Just to preach. Just to preach. The word of God is free. That's right. There's a man now, Baptist preacher, Columbia, South Carolina, asked me to come preach for him. He said, would you do it? I said, yes, as soon as I get some time. He said, how much do you charge? I looked. <laughs> Who is it that pays to die? That's right. Nobody called a person. Will you kill me? Yeah. How much you call? Uh, $2,000. Amen. I come to your church and wire it up with the scripture. Thank God and level your entire church right down. I smash it down That's right. with the Bible. And you ain't got to give me nothing. <laughs> Free. Freely. Thank God. We got a whole demolition crew. That's right. Huh? That's right. Read quick, son. Not given to filthy lucre. Not given to filthy lucre. Don't love money. Mm -hmm. What else? But a lover of hospitality. Yeah, know how to show hospitality, know how to treat people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Know how to treat people. Right. I had one brother, he left and started some church. He said, Pastor Jennings didn't have enough love. He got tired of me reprimanding him. Yeah. See, men don't want to be reprimanded, but they love to reprimand others. Right. A love of hospitality. You know, some folks say you are loving when you allow them to do what they want to do. Right. You know the way a child feels when their father wear they behind out? <laughs> I felt that way where I felt my father didn't love me. And when I was young, I felt my father didn't love me and didn't care. <laughs> the only time I felt that way was when I was getting my behind whipped. Right. When everything was nice and dandy, I ain't feel that way. I wasn't looking at what calls him to whip me. That's right. And that's the way we are. We don't look at what calls us to get reprimanded. Yeah. All right. But a lover of hospitality. What? A lover of good men. A lover of gay men. Good men. <laughs> Amen. No, gay men. A lover of good men. I love good men. Holy good men. men. Good men. If you're a gay man, you're welcome. You're welcome to come and sit among men. But you're not allowed to privately try to lure someone or manipulate someone and convince them that your world is right. That's right. Because see, then I'm going to throw you out. Because I ain't going to tolerate that. Every lesbian and every homosexual in the world is welcome to come to the truth of God. Yes. Repent of your sins. And be because you need this. You need, you need what we're preaching. Yes. So you can be changed. Yes. But not to come to coerce others. <laughs> because then I'm going to change your exit. The exit going to be changed then. That's right. Because now you've got a different agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No recruiting here. No, no. Huh? No, no. I said no recruiting. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. That's right. No recruiting. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't be sneaking off to some gay parade and little boys want to take pictures of your anatomy and show it to some other little dirty boy. Yep. And then get mad when somebody call you a faggot. That's right. That's like someone holding a Confederate flag and get mad when someone called him a bigot. Then put the sign down. That's right. You're not a hoe. Take the ankle chain off. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're not gay, brother. You ain't gay. Come out your skin tight pants. 
Am I right, Isaiah? Oh, yeah. Stop trying to dye your hair different colors. Stop trying to arch your eyebrows. What's the matter with you? That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with putting Vaseline on your lips, but your lips shouldn't be so shiny. It, 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 it reflects light. <laughs> shouldn't be like armor all on my tire. No. Go ahead. Lord, take God, I die preaching this. That's right. What did he say? A lover of good men. I love good men. Good men. men that are honest, yeah. humble, yeah. hardworking, yeah. men that are supportive. That's right. That love the truth of God. Yeah. I don't mean men just stand out there and yell amen. I mean men that back this message up. Somebody told me of a one fella. He don't hardly have nobody. And he said, Pastor Jennings just got a bunch of yes men. I want all the men to be yes men for God. Yeah. We say, I say yes. Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. That's it. We want to say yes to everything God said. That's right. That bothers preachers when they see all these men. Yeah, bothers. That bothers them. Yeah. They ought to be thank God to have men in God's house. Hallelujah. This is, this is not even an eighth of the men that split the truth of God. No. This is not even an eighth of them. No. This is not even an eighth of the women. That's right. Not even an eighth. That's I have right. to say like Queen Sheba, half has not been told. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> and we give God glory for it. Amen. Man that's a real man don't mind following a real man. That's right. That's right. A man that's a weak man will follow anything weak and feeble. That's right. Because he ain't got no backbone. That's right. What is it? A lover of good men. What else? Sober. Sober. Stable minded. Mm -hmm. You're not unstable. Yeah. When a man that's unstable, oh, he's wishy-washy. Oh, you can't yeah. trust him. Huh? Amen. All right. Just. Honest. Hmm. If you stole the church money and I asked you, Brother Williams, we're missing $2,500. Mm -hmm. Did you steal it? Yeah, Pastor Jones, I stole it. Well, thank you for your honesty. You're fired. That's right. <laughs> I respect your honesty. Right. You're a thief, but you're honest. An honest thief. You're just an honest thief, that's all. <laughs> Come on, sir. Holy. What? Holy. Methodist. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Non-denomination. Holy. Lutheran. Holy. Mormon. Holy. <laughs> Everything else might as well just sit down. That's right. You ain't got no business being all day and you ain't got the Holy Ghost. No, Holy Ghost. no way. I mean, you got to have the real speaking in tongue. Amen. The real tongue. Amen. As the spirit give utterance. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Holy. Uh huh. Temperate. Self control. Mm -hmm. You got to have self control when you're at the table. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can't always practicing getting all what you can get. Yeah. You got to learn how to suffer the want of things. Because yeah. the time may come, you may not can't get what you want. Mm -hmm. But being that you was temperate and have self control, right. you won't sin to get what you want. That's right. That's right. Temperate. Temperate. Amen. He that strive for the master is tempting how much? All things. How much? All things. That includes your wife. That's right. Tempered in all things. Can't always practice wrestling. <laughs> oh, you don't make sense now. Yes, I do. Yes, certainly I do. I'm preaching temperance. That's right. So something happened that she can't lay with you. Suppose well, something happens, she can't lay with you. Suppose she's ill. What are you going to do, force her? Or are you going to be one of those dumb men and quote the scripture, well, I got power over a body. Does that mean forced entry? Mm. You're so foolish, so silly. Did you hear what the Bible says there? Temperate. He that strives for mastery is temperate 
in everything. In all things. You shouldn't be get even if I go to an open buffet restaurant. Eat all you can eat. Mm -hmm. Still got to have temper. Still temper. You don't sit there for about four hours, eat, sit back, go to sleep. Wake up, eat some more. Take a nap again. No, no, no. Restaurants just keep looking at you. They wondering when you're getting out of here. This is doctrine. This is doctrine. Temperate. 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 Amen. I've been talking about being temperate in everything. All things. What is that? But uh, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. How did this bishop get it? As he hath been taught. How did this elder get it? As he hath been taught. He was taught by an apostle. That's right. You got to have an apostle to teach these fellas. That's what they when you need. teach them right and they get it in you, you are, you are known that you ain't got no business divorcing and remarrying and jumping up in pulpits, <laughs> not ordained and seeing astronauts to make you preachers. That's right. <laughs> Having all these vegans with little shiny men with silver helmets <laughs> telling you to go preach. No, that's cartoonism. That's, amen. <laughs> hmm? Come on, son. Holding fast the faithful word as he has been You see, this told. part of the apostles' doctrine they don't like. No. Because this sets order. That's right. This cleans out pulpits around the world. Yes, it will. What it said? Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught. What? That he may be able by sound doctrine. What kind of teaching? Sound doctrine. Ain't nothing sound about remarriage and divorce. No. Ain't nothing sound about denouncing speaking in tongue. No. It ain't nothing sound about having more than one God. Amen. It ain't nothing sound about your wife being the first lady in your church. They ain't sound. That's, That's sound. junk. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing sound about that. No. That's right. Oh, I can't even count the lot of letters I get from fellas. Pastor Jennings, I know God got something for me to do, but I don't know what it is. And sit and listen and be taught. Amen. There's some teaching in you. That's what you need. Ain't no need for no one to go jump behind a car and drive. <laughs> and you don't know how. That's right. If you can't tell the gas from the brake, I'm not trusting you. Don't trust it. Because when someone stays, say stop, you're going to press the accelerator. Yes, you will. And someone say go, you're going to press the brake and you're going to kill everybody. Yeah. Including yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That he may be able by sound doctrine. To do what? Both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Amen. You got a job in front of you. Job. All right. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. What do you mean they of the circumcision? Mm -hmm. Them that thought their heart was circumcised. Yeah. Them that claim they're born again. Right. Claim they're saved. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says stop their mouths. Whose mouths must be Shut stopped. them up. Must be. Because what do they do with their mouth, son? Who subvert whole houses. They go around subverting the whole housing. How do they do it? Teaching things which they ought not. Why do they do it? For filthy lucre's sake. Amen. Money. No brother should be anxious for a title. No way. Even brothers that's not in the pulpit. If somebody come in and don't know you and don't know you're not a minister and just happen to address you, elder so-and-so or bishop so-and-so, and you know you're not a minister, you don't eat it up. No. Correct them. Oh, no, I'm not a minister. I'm, I'm not a minister. I'm just brother. Be honest. Be honest. Because if you let them throw that on you and you keep going on, you know you're dishonest. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. I was in England and Huey was with me. And uh, no, Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs> and Huey. Come here, Huey. Come here, Huey. Come on out from back there, adjusting your camera. Now, come, come out here a minute. Anybody would think he's a bishop. Anybody. I mean, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> And someone said, well, his height ain't got nothing to do with it. Give me the book of Samuel. Samuel. Mm -hmm. In the book of Samuel, God told the prophet, 
that I'm going to have a prophet over Israel. Right. Well, the prophet went to David's father's house, mm -hmm. which was Jesse. Right. Now, let's read fast. First Samuel chapter 16, and we're at verse 6. This is an excellent example. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass. Read quick. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Oh, he looked right on the first, <laughs> first fellow he saw. Show that. The Lord's anointed is before him. I was him. in Nassau, Bahamas. They asked Rick, I got through preaching, you know. I was done preaching. and So the minister there, you know, met Huey for the first time. So one of the younger ministers who didn't know Huey, he said, we're going to ask Pastor Ricky. Pastor Ricky. <laughs> Pastor Johnson. That's right. Close us out in prayer. Mm -hmm. He said, I looked at Rick. <laughs> Rick said, oh, I'm brother. I'm, I'm brother. I'm brother Johnson. <laughs> Someone throw a title on you, brother. Amen. Be honest enough. Yeah. If you're not a professor, don't let no one call you a professor. That's right. That's right. In the days of Samuel, Mm -hmm. The mistake was made looking at the size of the men. But the Lord said unto Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel. Look not on his countenance. Don't look on his countenance. Or on the height. Or on the height. Of his stature. Of his stature. Because so, I have refused him. I did what? I have refused him. I refuse him. <laughs> you can go away now. When I came up in falsehood, the false prophet I was under, you know what he taught us? He said that all brothers, you got to have a certain shaped head. To be a preacher. <laughs> he, he, he went over to Williams. <laughs> he said to Williams, Now you know you ain't no preacher. <laughs> but people believe that kind of foolishness. That's right. It's not in how big or how small your head is. <laughs> I don't care if your head is small as the tip of this microphone. <laughs> and your feet was a size 22. My Lord. And your arms was as long as that elephant's truck, My Lord. trunk. And your neck was as wide as a neck brace <laughs> with the head the size of a microphone. In that strange condition, God, if he choose, can still make you appreciate. You will be an unusual specimen, but God can make you appreciate. Finish up so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Yeah. Come on, son. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, and deceivers especially they of the circumcision, who mouth, must be stopped, who subvert hold houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Now that's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. The preachers are out preaching for money. So when any preacher tell you you don't have to be ordained, turn your back, don't even pay it no mind, it no because mind. it's plainly in the scriptures. Ordained elders. you got to be ordained. To be. Any man say he's an elder, he became one by not being ordained, Satan even reached to him. That's right. <laughs> Satan reached and ordained him. That's right. And sent him out. That's right. You got to be ordained by an apostle to have the thing right. Mm -hmm. Repent of your sins. You that are watching. You that are watching, I think of when I was in Bahamas, there was a brother who uh, was watching the telecast on the internet. And when I said, do anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? He was way in the Bahama Islands. When I said, stand up, he stood up in his living room. <laughs> huh? In his living room, way in the Bahamas. He stood up. He was ready. And, and he went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank God. Now what he done, everybody got to do. That's right. Anybody here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? And get your sins washed away. Stand on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. You see those brothers and sisters over there with their hands up? All of you that want to be baptized, go right where they are. Oh, every time the message falls. Yeah, yeah. 
Come on, Brother Harris. Anybody else want to be baptized? Let me give you some good knowledge. You that are here. It ain't not one of you saved without baptism. That's right, that's right. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't saved. You just got a tired neck. <laughs> you say, I confess in my mouth and believe in my heart I am saved. No, you're not. No, you're the Bible not. says you shall be. Right. That means you got some more work to do. That's right. You pray the sinner's prayer, no such prayer exists in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Repent of your sins. Be baptized in water. Today, yeah. we got water right here. Mm -hmm. Here's water. What hinder you from being baptized? For if you want to get into the kingdom of God, you must repent of your sins and you must be baptized. If anybody else want to be baptized, come on. Just come on. Go right where them brothers and sisters are so you can get your sins washed away. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. But you will never get into the kingdom of God without it. Who can give me the correct time, brothers? What? 353? All the way to the time of the evening sacrifice? Glory to God. The evening session was scheduled to start at 5. You know, and we got enough gospel to take you right into 5. Oh, yes, we do. Man, we got enough gospel to take you all the way to six, seven, and eight. That's right. And beyond. And beyond. The Bible said that when Paul was long preaching, he tossed his fell asleep and fell out the third law. Paul came to him and embraced him. Thank God he come on back to life. It's never too long. It's never too much. That's right. When you party, did you party longer than this? Talk back to me. Did you dance longer than this? Did you drink longer than this? Hallelujah. Some of you sleep longer than this. You watch television longer than this. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing. Yeah. It, is good for us to be here. it is good for us to be here. Oh, yeah. Anybody else want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? If there's any visiting preachers here who want to be a part of the truth of God, please come talk to us. Amen. Let me know what you're preaching. I would love to sit and talk with you. Pastor Dennis, I'm out on my own. That's what's wrong with you. Bible says, come thou with us, we'll do you good. You're good. We won't do you no harm. That's right. Amen. The only thing I want to harm is the devil. Yeah. Amen. If you're on the Lord's side, come on. Amen. Come on. If you go through these churches in Delaware and they're not standing for the word of God, get out of there. Yeah. Your soul is at stake. My mission, let me make it clear, my mission statement <laughs> is in the word of God. That is to go ye therefore into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Amen. We had a good meeting. Yes. Yes, all the weekend. Amen. Good meeting all the weekend. We know that many have to go back to different locations. Amen. I had no idea. It's basically four o'clock. Wow. Thank you for your patience, because you need every drop of it. Amen. All right, we're going to let you go. You go on and eat now. Everybody go eat. They sit intensely, want to know what I'm going to say about the next service. <laughs> I know I can see it all in here. <laughs> Let me say this at the closing, because we are already in the evening session. <laughs> Let me say this, because I meant to say this at the opening. I want to thank Elder Ellis. He did an excellent job Friday night. Stand up, Brother Ellis. <laughs> the 
did an excellent job. Now what I want to say is directly to the saints of God. We done outgrew Frankfurt Avenue years ago. Frankfurt Avenue is 18,000 square feet. We've been outgrew it. And the condition that is in, it don't make no sense to put money back in something that we don't outgrew. Is that the truth? So, the city of Philadelphia were closing, and it did close several public schools. And we wanted to buy a public school, not to keep, we wanted to buy it for the purpose of square footage. It give us the square footage we need. Yes. Frankfurt Avenue is only 18,000 square feet. Public schools here in Philadelphia, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Some public schools in Philadelphia, if you tear them down, you're gonna build an entire new neighborhood. <laughs> and I know many of you, maybe from smaller areas, don't see that. But, uh, so a lot of the, I didn't realize there was so much red tape and just getting a school. So the Catholic broadcast over the news and they reached out to my secretary that they're closing about 30 something campuses. Now here in the North, when the Catholics build a church, it takes up a whole block. It's a community, it's church, Schools, living quarters, parking lot. In other words, it's a one-stop shop. <laughs> so I went and looked at several campuses. And one thing they didn't tell me how long some was vacant. I went in some, oh God, they was horrible on the inside. But beautiful on the outside. But we found the campus. We have always wanted our own school. The campus we found have two schools. You can set Frankfurt Avenue on it 11 times. Frankfurt Avenue is 18,000 square feet. 11 times 18 is 198. This campus is close to 200,000 square feet. The church have a upstairs auditorium. In fact, the church itself can seat, I say close between 26, 27, 2800. They have three gymnasiums. And uh, the gymnasiums can hold a thousand plus per gymnasium. You can use them for overflow. They have a full story living quarters where nuns used to live. With about 30 or 40 something bedrooms and maybe 20 something bathrooms. They have a parish house. That's where the priests claimed they lived. <laughs> That's connected to the church. That would be an administrative building. So the building is close to 200,000 square feet. And if you was to build something like that today, it's wall to wall marble. You see the way the stone is? This is limestone. And this building, I like this beautiful auditorium. I really do. You can shoot a lot of devils. Well, the way the limestone is from floor to top, that's where the marble is in that building. Yeah. It's lined all around the auditorium. The balcony is bigger than most people's churches. Yes, the pulpit podium is made out of hand carved marble from Italy. The aisles of the church, hand carved stone from Spain. We gave them an offer. They accepted it.
Now. Now. Now listen. The programs that I mentioned that we have, the EAC, the Evaluate Advancement Center, this campus will be able to we'll be able to fulfill all what we need to do. Our schools, drug rehabilitation, elderly, open up our businesses, our own stores, our own barbershops, our own bakery, our own clothing store. our own satellite television station. Our own. Our own. How's that, Chubb? Now, we want all the members I appreciate your applause, but now we got work to do. That's right. That's right. Now listen, listen. We asking everybody to go in a sacrifice mode. Yes, if Creflo Old Dollar and them devils can raise sixty-five million dollars to buy a jet, a private jet for fun. And we can get a house of God to fight the devil in. Yeah. Certainly we can. Yeah. From experience, a lot of folk is with you until. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's a mouth, sir. We're going to ask everybody to sacrifice. I'm talking direct to the saints of God. Yeah. If visitors and those that are watching want the help and the sacrifice, fine. Yeah. But we're talking direct to the saints of God. Yeah. Do you know if 3,000 people would give $1,000, you know how much we have? Yeah. Do you know your math? You have $3 million. Well, you got the first one right there. Right from As the Jenny's times are hard, I know. But you know what sacrifice means? <laughs> sacrifice means that. You're going beyond what you cannot afford. And this sacrifice starts today. We want everybody to get in sacrifice mode. Everybody. Now, they were asking 3.5. We gave them an offer, 2.7. They accept the offer. Then they came back and said they want the windows. All them stained glass windows. I said, fine. I mean, we don't want cartoons no way. And I said, if you take the windows, which we don't mind, then deduct the price more. And then let me choose the glass of my choice because I don't want nothing expensive. I just want something to save heat. Right, right. They came down another 300,000. So we're at 2.4. We got agreement to sell. Don't say 2.4, that's a lot of money. No, it's not. 65 million is a lot of money. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If these false prophets can have beautiful churches yes, leading right. people yeah. to hell, then we can have one to teach you the right thing. Amen. I don't think small. And people who think small have a problem with the way I think. Oh, Pastor Jennings is asking for money. You're right, I am. <laughs> But not for me. Right. I'm asking it for the work of God. 
and I want everybody. Now, we want everybody, and I mean all of the truth of God, brothers and sisters around America and abroad, to sacrifice a thousand dollars towards the new headquarters. That's a small sacrifice. Put in the memo of your check, new temple. We're going to set up the website that should be functioning this week. For those that are far away and don't want to send money in, they'll set up what is called a pin. PayPal, where you'll be able to send it direct that way, and then on the website, you will see pictures of the inside, the outside of the campus. You'll be able to see it for yourself. That way you know what you're investing in. The only way this way, we want to close this thing this year. I want to have it closed this year. So I immediately, I want everybody, your sacrifice starts today. To all the members of the truth of God that is not at the convention, that are watching all around the world. Not just in America, but all around the world. We are laboring to buy a new international campus it is not just a church yes. it's an entire campus mm. a beautiful thing to be able to come to a school where your children ain't got a mini skirt on mm. have our own Not just helping you spiritually, but naturally. That's right. Open up businesses. Amen. Three gymnasiums. Have a commercial cafeteria. A huge cafeteria. Hey Amen. You can sit there with tables and cooks. and Put a book screen down and watch the truth of God message while you eat. You know, some folks say, oh, man, you always asking for money. It takes money to run anything. How do you think the telecast stay on? Gabriel sure ain't keeping it on. Now, we got a finance company who's willing to back us, but this is what I don't like. For them to do it, they want us to cut a lot of television stations. Now, I understand their business move. Business is business. Because they want to know and make sure that loan going to be paid. And the majority of our monies, even though churches are being built and opened up, the telecast is the largest thing. And nobody here can say, we don't see the results of it. We do. Right. People are coming from all around the world as a result of telecast. I personally don't want to cut one station. I don't want to. Do y'all want to? No. I want y'all to know what this is, this is what we're dealing with. This is the reality of it. And they have already sent word to me and over <laughs> through my secretary. Look, we need Pastor Jenna to, uh, to send emails to the stations. Mm. And we need to copy those emails knowing the cutoff date. No, no. Wow. So if stations get cut off, wow. it'll be temporary. I don't even want it cut off a day. No. Yeah. But the broadcast and the new campus, they are equal in importance. Yes, 
Because we got to have both of them. We just do. We got to have both of them. So church, I don't want nobody to be lazy. I want everybody to get in gear today. Willingly. Say what you want about false churches, but they work together, don't they? So we are in hurry up mode. Starting today, we want y'all to start sacrificing. Whatever location you're in, turn your monies over to the treasurer and your location and make sure the monies is in the church name. In the church name. Don't put it in the name of your local minister. <laughs> Don't put it in William's name either. <laughs> but we're telling everybody all the followers of the truth of God, not only you that are here, you that are watching around the world. The truth of God is not trying to buy jets right. and planes. Right. We are doing this for the work of God. And there's hundreds and hundreds of followers of the truth of God that's in First Church that's not here. And there's hundreds that are here. So I'm glad we can use the media and talk to them. We've gone on the drive, $1,000 per person. If you want to give more, good, fine. I ain't going to stop you. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Dennis, I don't have $1,000. Give what you got, but this is what we're asking. If 3,000 people gave $1,000, we got $3 million. We got enough money to buy cash and do whatever painting we want to do, rewiring. Elder Ellis is an electrical engineer by trade. Brother Lamar, where is Lamar? That's another electrical engineer over there. I would love to get in there and glory to God and let you see the beauty of it. And one thing about them that know Pastor Jennings, when it comes to picking out buildings, we never pick out junk. That's right. Uh -uh. Oh, no, uh -uh. no, no, no. I love something solid and beautiful. Solid. Amen. And it is solid. Yeah. So we, we, we're talking to all the members of the body. We are in $1,000 drive per person toward the purchase of the new international headquarter campus. Mm. I would love to dedicate that place and look at you up and down the aisle shouting and glorifying God. Amen. 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 And this is what we want to do. Is that all right? Yes, Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. Yes, buddy. We want to start sacrificing immediately. Immediately. And what we're going to do also on the website we have gold. In other words, the gold of the amount we're going to raise. And on this website, you will see the figures of where we are. You'll be able to see it. Huh? You'll be able to see the figures. While you look at the pictures, you'll see the figures. Are you listening? We want to do it, and we want to do it gladly and willingly. It is not for Pastor Jennings. I want to say to all my enemies that are watching and listening, don't go lying and say, Pastor Jennings asked the, asked the church to give him $3 million. That's a, lie. That's a lie. I asked them to give it to the work of God for the glory of God. That way you can come see what God doing. All right. We thank God for you. Please don't let this fall on deaf ears. We ask him the work and the cooperation of all of our brothers and sisters that's of the truth of God. Listen, notice, I'm not coming to you like Benny Hinn and the others. The Lord spoke to me. The Lord said, no, I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. This is what we need. And let's go out and get it. That's what we want.
sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Giving what you really can afford. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's all it is. Just, just withdraw it. Get it. Give it. Don't steal it. Sacrifice. Give it to the church. We already got a, an account designated for it. Go right in there. Even when you do it through the internet. And I already met with my crew that work on internet and told them to get that specific, specific, those specifics up and running this week. I want it up and running this week. So when people go to it, they can do what? Pen, what you call it? PayPal. PayPal? PayPal? I keep thinking pen pals. <laughs> pen pals for inmates, ain't it? Do I got any pen pals here? We're prisoners. So I want you pen pals to go to PayPal. And let's go on and buy this campus. Amen. Let, let, let us see. God says this, prove me here therewith. We want all the members, all the members that's in America and in all foreign countries that are watching and listening truth of God is sacrificing a thousand dollars a person to buy a new international campus which includes church administrative building two schools and a four-story high lodging quarters with three elevators have three gymnasiums and a massive parking lot sleeping quarters it's good for when conventions and you got people who don't have funds can afford a hotel. Right. I would appoint a staff. We would appoint a staff to run it like a hotel. You got to sign in. And you got to sign out. One floor will be designated for Mary only. Another floor will be designated for sisters only. Another floor designated designated for brothers only and then there will be enforcers that make sure no floor is betrayed I'm not playing oh yes no sleepwalking allowed I met with my crew and I told them I want that up and running immediately. Amen. We want to venture out. If you see the telecast all of a sudden canceled in your, canceled in your area, it is because we're becoming, we're sluggish in what we have to do. You know, and we got a large network. And I don't want to cancel a station temporarily because my thing is, even if we get back, it's that time slot. Right. Right. Then you lose viewers right. who never saw you. Right. Amen. So this is what we want. Amen. And this is what we want to work hard to get. Is that all right? I want y'all to see what God can do through you if you would just follow what I ask you. It is solid. We won't, we won't lead you the wrong way. We want something better than Frankfurt. You can set Frankfurt Avenue on that lot. Can you imagine? 11 times? And many of you have been to Frankfurt. Before we shut down the main auditorium, Frankfurt been full upstairs and downstairs. Amen. Even the downstairs chapel in the building, that can seat almost 1,000. And the pews downstairs is about 20 feet long. Yeah. The downstairs temple is bigger than most people's churches. Yes. That can seat about a thousand. Yes. Amen. It's time for us to move. Right. And I agree wholeheartedly with Brother Ellis. I'm tired of renting. Yes. That's right. I'm tired of renting. The reason why we rent for conventions is because we need the space to hold the amount of people. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful that we have such growth. Yeah. Yeah, 
outgrew Frankfurt Avenue years ago. But I'm tired of renting for conventions. That's it. That's it. I'm tired of that. If I'm going to rent, let it be because I'm going to be in another location to preach the gospel there. But for conventions, no. We want everybody to be able to come to what we call home. Oh. All right. We done carried you all the way to the time of the evening sacrifice. We done had morning, afternoon, and evening sessions. Yes, we have. Did we have it, Ellis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. What time we have? After 420? All right. This in our all-day service. We're going to end it now. Is it good, Ellis? Yes, sir. What time is your plane? Uh, I need to be there by 6.30. Oh, we'll make sure you get there. Okay. <laughs> we'll make sure. Listen, I want one of you brothers to make sure, Brother Ellis, one of your brothers volunteer, who know where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> and volunteer and get him to the airport on time, at least an hour and a half early. Six minutes back. They give him time to check in. That's right. Flight leave at 7.30. Flight leave at 7.30? Right. All right. So we're going to let you go. You go home and eat. Get a chance to break, move around, fellowship with one another. Amen. We done been here all day. Now, if we had our local, our headquarters temple, everybody be able to come out, walk out on the lot, and go up two staircases into a massive cafeteria. We would be able to do everything on one site. It takes up a whole block. The moment you turn the corner, you can be 10 or 15 blocks up the street and you see the bell tower. It's a beautiful place. And by me talking about it, it's making some viewers upset. Amen. And now, by us talking about it, the devil ain't going to want us to get it. Let's work together. And let's get it done. I want everybody. If I have everybody cooperation, we can raise several million dollars in less than a week. If a thousand people done gave, if you got a thousand people, if you got three thousand dollars, no, three thousand people, and each one gave a thousand dollars, what do you have? If you got a thousand people and they done that, what you got? Because if a hundred people give a thousand dollars, what you got? Now do you understand why I'm asking for that kind of sacrifice? Right. I, I, I respect greatly. You know, you know, you sell dinners and slices of cake for a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. You know, little bowls of potato salad. Yeah, I, I do understand that. But. We have to really do something large. Yes. Pastor, didn't I thought you don't ask for money? For God? for God? Oh, yes, I will ask for God. That's right. But I won't ask you for my own personal self. Right. For my own personal self? No. no. I won't ask you for my personal self. Yeah. Nope. But for the work of God? Yeah. Oh, yes. I would ask you for God. Yeah. Amen. I already belong to God. So I want everybody to get in sacrifice mode immediately. And if anybody try to criticize it, criticize. get away from them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Get away from them. Because there's some folk ain't doing nothing and they don't want you to get nothing done. Before we close, let me also 
update you that don't know, uh, we have opened up a new temporary place in Portsmouth, Virginia. That opened June 25th. We baptized 20 souls that day. Yeah. We are also opening up another new, when I say temporary, it's because that's a place that we rent it for people to gather together until we buy something permanent. We also have opened, or will open up a new temporary location in the Bronx, New York, and that meeting starts next Sunday. This Sunday coming, it starts. So, buying branch churches is good. Headquarters, we, we can't neglect home, man. Yeah, that's headquarters. So I want everybody that are watching and listening that serve the truth of God to sacrifice $1,000 to the, to the purchasing of our new campus. And we want to do this immediately. We don't want nobody to be slow for we don't want nobody to be sluggish. We want you to get in sacrifice mode starting today. Is that all right? Yeah. Now, we're going to get ready to close. We thank you all for coming. We're glad for those. Are they still baptizing? Yeah. How many went down so far? Ten. Ten? Ten? Seven hundred and thirty-eight so far. And it's only July? Yeah. Seven hundred and thirty-eight souls from January to now. What fool will say God is not in this? <laughs> Thank God for all of you, brothers and sisters. You are, you are grieve my heart without your cooperation. You are make my work easier with cooperation. Let us all stand. Eternal, everlasting God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we thank you for your divine wisdom, your perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank you for those that are here, them that have heard the word of God and it pricked their heart. Them that have went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and them that are gone down as we speak. We thank you much. We thank you for the provisions that you are making for us. Look down upon your people. You said that your people had a mind to work. Give everybody your mind. That everybody may come together and do the will of God. Bless us with what we're venturing out for. That we may glorify your name in another place. You said the latter house shall be greater than the former. Grant it unto us. Give us victory. Bless us and protect us as we go back to our separate destinations. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every heart say amen. amen. Let's start today, brothers and sisters.